Sammy. I will unmute there and mute to here. here. Are we good? All right, so this is round two of the individual competition for the USA Jigsaw Puzzle Association Springtime Jig Time Virtual Puzzle Competition. Uh, we've done this puzzle in a previous round that we recorded and that will be posted later, um, but this is a solo event. We have 50 people who are gonna be racing to complete a 500 piece Cobble Hill puzzle. They have not seen the puzzle yet, and this puzzle is actually unpublished and just being debuted in the U.S., so kind of exciting. Hopefully that means nobody has done it before. Um, so we're excited to see how everybody competes today and how well they tackle this puzzle. I'm Valerie Coit. I'm one of the board members with the USA Jigsaw Puzzle Association, and I'm joined by my fellow board members and event organizers, Tammy McLeod, Faith Taylor, and Allie Krasny. Um, we're just going to kick things off soon where you'll start to hear the Zoom audio from the virtual contest where Allie's going to be making some announcements. And then we'll do a countdown and let everybody open up their puzzles and get to work. So thanks for joining us. If you ever hear us or see our mouths moving and, and you can't hear us, it could be because we're on another channel. So don't let that freak you out or think that we've dropped out of audio. Um, Hopefully we can keep it all straight today as we try to watch the contest and do our best to monitor their completion times. And uh, I hope you enjoy yeah, watching these speedy puzzlers. So with that, Allie's going to do the announcements. Excellent. Thanks so much, Val. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to our Zoom channel now. All right, everyone. How's everyone feeling? Are we all excited and ready to puzzle? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> excellent. Do we have any newbies? If so, raise your hands or wave, do whatever you want. Okay, all right. Oh, lots doing. of yeah. lots of new people. Awesome, excellent. Well, welcome. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and um, talk through just a little bit of background really quick about the USA JPA. And I'm also going to um, go through the rules and then we'll get started. I'll try and make it nice and quick so we're not sitting around too long, not puzzling because that's the worst. Okay, I'm going to do this and this. Okay, great. Everyone can see my screen okay? Okay, great. Welcome everyone to the last wave of the Springtime Jig Time USA JPA competition. Uh, we're so excited to have you and um, we are, we're excited to be finishing up too. It's been a long day, but we're excited to finish it off with you guys. So for anyone that doesn't know, um, the the four of us so myself uh i'm Allie. there's valerie faith and tammy the four of us uh helped start up the usa jpa with our other co-founder uh jonathan clough who now runs speedpuzzling.com uh, we started this in may of 2020 and we've been growing ever since then and now we're at almost 900 members and our goals, we have a few. Our biggest was to host a national championship to determine the official representative puzzlers at the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championship. We did that in October of 2022, and we'll be hosting the next national championship in March of 2024. We should have some announcements coming out about that soon. Uh, our our other parts of our mission are to provide guidelines, support competitive jigsaw puzzling competitions, uh, local and regional ones, and establish a ranking system from ours and other sanctioned events, which we have done. Uh, and in general, to promote jigsaw puzzling as a hobby and provide an online hub for people to share news and events related to jigsaw puzzling. So that's what we try to do in our spare time. Uh, for those of you who aren't aware, we're actually just uh, volunteer board members. So we do this in our spare time because organizing is fun to us. <laughs> um, so a little 
a highlight of some of the things coming up for our members. If you're not aware, our membership is $15 a year. And these are some of the things that members have coming up. Tomorrow we have Puzzle Club, uh, which is uh, similar to this, but a little more casual with a little more chatting and not so much on the prizes. Uh, but it's a great way for people to kind of connect with other puzzlers, get in more practice. And tomorrow I have a feeling we'll be recapping how everyone felt about the puzzles today. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Next, we have a speedpuzzling.com competition uh, on June 3rd. It's a, J, a USA JPA sanctioned event, which means you can get a JPAR uh, ranking adjustment from that. It's a virtual event. And we have exclusive access for our members to sign up for that before anyone else does. And our goal was to announce the, the link for that uh, here and in the live stream right now. Uh, but... We've been very tired planning this and we thought, oh, you know what, if we do that right now, the current puzzlers about to compete can't get a chance to register before it fills up. So we will be sending that in an email to our members uh, right as this competition finishes at 630. So keep an eye out for that. Once you're done puzzling, if you want to do more, uh, look in your emails for that link and you can get registered for that before anyone else does and you'll be able to um, affect your JPAR score with that. We also have our puzzle design contest, which was scheduled to end um, this coming Monday, but we extended that by a week to May 7th. So make sure to uh, check that out and, and submit a design if you have one. And finally, there is a tabletop gaming convention called Origins, which is taking place in June in Ohio. And we will be hosting some in-person competitions there. So you should uh, check out that and the rest of this uh, on our website and or our 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 newsletters. Sorry, the early morning's catching up with me. Uh, <laughs> check out our newsletters uh, for more details about these uh, if you are a member. So JPAR ranking or JPAR score, I've talked about it a few times, the Jigsaw Puzzle Association ranking. These scores enable us to compare puzzlers. So to kind of from the fastest to the le to the less fast, uh, we're able to kind of compare where people's standings are. And it also allows us to uh, judge the difference in puzzle difficulty. This is a qualified event, like I mentioned. And so rankings will be posted um, hopefully within a few weeks of the event on our website and they'll also be mentioned in our newsletter. USA JPA competition times are used towards that score in addition to sanctioned events like the one that I just mentioned. All right, talking about the competition now, uh, as far as getting started with opening your packaging. So don't do anything yet until we tell you that's just really the best rule to follow. If you, <laughs> if you open something before you're supposed to, you may be disqualified. So the way that this will go immediately before we start the timer, we will announce that you can open your shipping packaging. Don't do that yet, but we'll tell you when you can. That will include the outer packaging, that white packaging you see, and some bubble wrap. But please do not open the cellophane wrap that surrounds your puzzle or the box or the bag inside. You can use uh, scissors or something to open this outer uh, shipping packaging you won't be able to use tools for the cellophane wrap later on. Once we count down and say go, that's when we will start our timer. You should start your timer. Um, and you may open your cellophane, the box, the bag, and start puzzling. So once we say go, that's when you can start with the cellophane. Uh, we do recommend that you have a timer nearby and or on screen. We have the one on the screen here, but in case of any sort of mishaps, having your timer is very useful. Um, let's see here. After the timer starts, the only tools you can use are sorting trays and box holders, none of the other tools listed there, and nothing sharp to open your cellophane. That's just, you gotta hope that your fingernails are nice and sharp today. <laughs> um, during the competition, please stay muted so that we don't distract others. Once you have inserted the last piece of your puzzle and you're nice and relieved that it's done, take your hands, please, completely off the puzzle. We want to see you throw them up like this. That way we know. Amelia, exactly. Great example. Loved it. Uh, <laughs> that way we know when you're done. Uh, it's really difficult uh, on video. So that is super helpful when you guys do that. We also then know that you're not still putting any pieces in. 
When you do that, look at the timer on the screen um, and note your time. We will be watching. We will generally catch your time, but sometimes we don't. So if you are noting that for us and showing us that or your, your personal timer, that will be great. You may unmute and announce done when that happens, but then please remute so that you don't distract others. Show us the time on your screen and then we will either verify verbally or in the chat your time. Once we've done that, please turn off your camera so that we have one less screen to focus on. If you run into the case that you have a missing piece, there's a there's just a 10 second penalty. We don't want you searching for a piece forever. So if you notice a piece is missing and you just put in the last piece besides that, check the timer and then start looking for your piece. If you don't find your piece within 10 seconds, we'll take your time at that uh, after that 10 seconds. If you find it sooner, we'll take your time sooner. All right, once you're done, you can leave. You can stay and watch and use the chat feature, but we need you to please stay muted. Or you can also hop into the live stream uh, and chat with people on there, which is kind of fun. Um, and we actually will have uh, the Zoom closing ceremonies. So you guys can hop and kind of chat on there and stuff too. And we'll also announce the winners and such. Uh, there is a two hour time li limit for this puzzle. If you finish after the time limit is done, you can still keep puzzling, keep your timer going, and then you can submit your time for an official, um, unofficial scoring, sorry, <laughs> by emailing us with a picture of your puzzle and your timer and timesheet. So we'll still include your time uh, on the results. We'll just note that it was unofficial and then you won't be eligible for prizes. If there are any photo finishes or missed completions, we may review the recording and on-screen timer for final finish times. So these times are all um, somewhat tentative um, if, if we feel like something's a little bit off, which we have had a few times today. The most important thing, besides the pride of winning, uh, are the <laughs> prizes. So um, we've got some really great prizes for you guys. So Cobble Hill is the sponsor of this puzzle. Uh, I'm not sure if everyone has been looking at the posts and things like that, but Cobble Hill, this will be a Cobble Hill puzzle. It's an unreleased puzzle. Uh, so they're sponsoring a puzzle for first through sixth place, actually. Uh, in addition, first through third, we'll get a box top holder trophy from Zacco Puzzle Boards and some cash. And those prizes will be awarded to first through sixth in this wave. And those same prizes will be awarded to first through sixth in the previous wave. In addition, we're going to combine the waves and whoever had the top three times across all 100 puzzles, puzzlers across all, all two waves will also get a puzzle eagle from Robinsberger. So that's pretty exciting because that's a little hefty prize. So one last thing that Cobble Hill is sponsoring is a door prize for one of you all in the room today. So what we're going to do now is draw for that prize. So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. Tammy's gonna start sharing her screen and we are going to uh, spin. And if you're able to, if you win and you're able to, you should unmute and say woohoo. So we know where you are. <laughs> We haven't had enough woohooing today, so. <laughs> <laughs> the winner is Stephanie Vargas. Oh, Can we so get close. a woohoo? <laughs> <laughs> All right, excellent. Stephanie, we've got you marked down, so you'll be getting something from Cobble Hill. Cool. So, what we can go ahead and do at this point is we can start opening the shipping packaging on our puzzles. So you can use scissors or whatever to open that white outer packaging and any bubble wrap, but please do not open the cellophane on your puzzle. Do you wanna, wanna start start go over the registration for the June, June event, Allie, Allie or no? no? Um, I did, you are uh, oh, okay. you are unmuted in two places, oh, I think, it's okay. Um, yes, I did mention that. So I said, I'm going to send an email, uh, right at six 30 so that people, as they're finishing, they could go and register for that really quick and then come back and join us at seven o'clock for the closing ceremonies.
All right. What do you guys think of this image so far? A little thumbs up or thumbs down or a little in between or how do we feel about it? Well, we got a heart. Love that. Got some medium handshakes. Melinda has a crying face. I don't think she likes this one. Because <laughs> Sam's seeing some mediocre. <laughs> <laughs> this, is interesting. this is great. I'm loving it. All right. Excellent. Um, right, anything let's... else that I have maybe missed? Oh, let's Kimberly sure Holman we're... feels medium about it also. <laughs> I saw that. Let's make sure we're all ready with our trigger finger on the button to hit go, right? <laughs> Do we have all of our timers Just ready? <laughs> okay. Yep. Tammy's giving a thumbs up. I think we're good. Okay. We had a slate timer mishap this morning. If you guys well, go somebody... back um, Margaret, you can, you can go ahead and take the bubble wrap off of yours. Yeah. Oh, Somebody just asked question? about the paper in there. And yeah, that's for, if you want to write your time on that, you can at the end and hold it up, but you can also just show us your timer. No. I don't have the paper. Not that's everyone okay. got the paper. No, not everybody got it. It's okay. Long story short, not everyone got it. So don't worry about it if you don't have it. If you do, you may use it, but you don't have to. Okay, let's. A uh, real quick check. Is there anyone else who everyone's puzzle looks good? Boop, boop. We've got the bubble wrap off of everyone. Is this the most suspenseful? Okay. We are going to count down from three. All right. So ready? Three, two, one, go. And excellent. We got our timer started too. So we're good to go. <laughs> we're on it. <laughs> All right, I moved over to the Discord channel. Excellent. Me too. Okay. All right, and we've got 70, 70 people watching in the live stream right now. Thank you all for joining us to watch. <laughs> I love how Kelly Spoon said in the chat, that it looks like her cat. She's like, yeah, a cat. It looks like my boy. <laughs> She's going to be even more excited when she sees the cut of the puzzle. Yeah. She says she's trained her whole life for this and she's not wrong. <laughs> she's not wrong. You Why did we on um, that? Yes. Okay. So means. everyone watching, the officers did this puzzle a few days ago on a Zoom call with each other. And while we were doing that puzzle, we noticed that this cut seemed familiar, the cut of the puzzle pieces. So this, you know, oh, this piece looks kind fair. of funky. You noticed, Allie. I noticed. <laughs> Here's <laughs> why. <laughs> so for those of you that aren't aware, uh, the USA JPA launched uh, what we're calling a speed run puzzle last October at Nationals. And the idea with the speed run puzzle is to do the puzzle over and over again and see who can do it the absolute fastest. It's kind of similar to speed running in video games. And myself and a few others have really taken a shine to this and have done it, you know, 50, 60 times, which means you know exactly what that puzzle looks like and all of the pieces. And if they're uniquely shaped pieces, you know exactly what this little weird piece, where that goes and this puzzle has the exact same cut as that puzzle. So as we were doing this puzzle, I was like, well, this piece looks funky. Oh, it goes in the same spot as that other puzzle. Oh, this one also, until I realized every piece of this puzzle is the exact same cut as our speed run puzzle. And so we were just mentioning Kelly Spoon, who has been battling with me <laughs> for the speed run puzzle time. And uh, so she's going to probably notice pretty she recognizes a lot of these pieces. <laughs> yeah, so um, little does she know it's a design she likes and it's a that she likes. Um, I, I'm fascinated by this. I'm going to spotlight Dean and Kathy next to each other because they are puzzling right next to each other. You can see the overlap <laughs> of Dean and Kathy's shot. Um, so that is an interesting idea do it this way and I'm just amazed at how fast their hands move um I'm Looks also like just so smack to each other I love it well I know and then I, I just think this is I, I'm gonna try you know obviously to spotlight lots of people but this is particularly fascinating because they never 
individual competitions, but they are incredibly fast. They won the pairs competition this morning by like how many minutes? I mean, eight. Eight <laughs> was, minutes. Eight minutes. It was not close. Uh, they they beat a bunch of the Spanish competitors who use that same Ravensburger puzzle that we used this morning in a competition in Spain, and they're some of the fastest in the world. The pairs and Zine and Kathy just handily uh, beat them on their times as well. So I think, you know, for those of us who follow the sport, we're very like, okay, what's this going to be like with Zine and Kathy doing individuals and going head to head? -head and it's just kind of fascinating. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm looking at the, the live stream and Kim Kenny said, I thought some of these pieces looked the same as the speedrun puzzle. <laughs> That's funny. Um, oh, on the live stream. Where are we at on the live stream? It says they're just seeing the timer. Is that accurate? They're just seeing the timer um, on the live stream. Oh, well, I don't have that spotlighted, so that is odd. Okay. Maybe Tammy is. Um, I don't I don't know what to say about that. Me maybe has it up. She's running the live stream computer. Oh, so it's good now. It's good now. I'm okay. watching it. Okay. We're okay. okay to go ahead and share the link to the puzzle now, right? I can go ahead and do that in there. Yeah. At some point, well, you Tammy was putting it image. up. Tammy was putting it up before in one of the things that she runs. So maybe if I do this. No, she's got her video off right now. This AJPA should have the image now. Okay, great. I'm gonna put I'll, a, I'll put a link in the chat here in just a second. Yeah, I can pin it. I'll uh, spotlight it. I just gotta get to it. There it is. So yeah, spotlight. So we'll I'll remove some spotlights so we can put that up for a second and people can really look at it. Puzzles called high tea hijinks. I'm gonna have some tea mm -hmm. while we do this. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Um, so you were saying about the um about the Reuters. Uh, highlight them again, maybe in a few. Yeah, other. I will. Let I'll me see. I'll, I'll try to highlight Jean. You highlight Kathy. Let me see if it works. Oh, okay, sure. That sounds good. I gotta find her just a second. <laughs> uh, there we go. Yep. You got yeah, that worked. Oh, cool. I can see Great. both of them. Yep. And I'm gonna throw this in there as well. Okay. People are liking the puzzles in the live stream, or the puzzle image, I should say. Okay. I suppose we could start highlighting um, just around. Yeah. Um, I'm going to pull up Suzanne, because she's oh, why don't you go ahead and do that. Yeah, and then I was going to pull up Mindy Whiting, because she's also pretty speedy. So we've got Sarah Schuler in here as well. Yeah, you could go ahead and spotlight her. Okay. I'll I mean, want to let us know if that if it shows up okay when uh, Allie spotlights. It should. Yeah, Tammy, let us know. Oh, I yeah, think she, she said did. yes already. She did. Yep, she said yes earlier. So yep. Okay, we're good on that. Great. Someone asked, "Is there an estimated time for this one?" I don't know if we want to share what the last times were. Probably. I mean, yeah, I think we could we could hint at least. We don't have to give the winning times, but we could let people I mean, know. Is there a reason not to? Well, I mean, I guess we can say it should be winning times. There's nothing stopping us. Okay. So I think we should, because then people know. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. The winning time in round one was uh Simi, and what's the last name? Is it Berman? Mm -hmm. Uh Simi, who finished in an hour, seven minutes and thirty-five seconds. So we're looking at over an hour. 
which is kind of what we estimated based on how the board members did. Um, so yeah. Do you want to run through, you know, second and third? I don't know if I have the yeah. correct steps, so I don't want to. I don't want to say um, I've got the sheet here. Okay. I'm going to look for some more folks that I recognize. I can't find Sarah. Did you? Oh, you got Sarah up there. Okay. I'll yeah, post. I'll put there. up Heather because um, Heather usually performs pretty well. Heather, be aware. I don't know that. Simi had done one of our competitions before. She's competed, I, I believe, right? Yeah. Like, well, she did California. nationals, but. Oh, that's right. Yeah, she did nationals. But yeah, so no, she's. Actually, been, uh, uh, so with Simi, Simi was at nationals. She competed, I believe, in teams. Like it was a last minute grouping. Oh, yeah. I can't remember about pairs, but she couldn't I sign up. I just realized that Robin. Individual. Is like half a minute behind Becca Taylor for third place. Yeah. And we have space to highlight a few more. We probably should. Sure. I'm just looking through and looking for folks. Um, here, I'll put up. I wish we remembered who were our new people. I know. Yeah. But yeah, let's, let's pull down some or move a few spotlights. We can put up some other folks that you know, we'll put see. up Stephanie because I think. Oh, wait, did that get Kelly, removed? This is Kelly Spoon. I'll put up. Oh, did I? I didn't. I just got this. Took down, uh, okay. Kathy. Okay. I just put up Kelly Spoon because she's the other person who does the uh, who really works on the speed run puzzle. Mm hmm. I do oh, see nice. how chaotically she puzzles. If you ever watch her speed run <laughs> videos, you'll be like, what is happening? She, I can say this because she says it about herself. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty interesting. Here we've got Lisa Schuler, Sarah Schuler's mom. I've got them both spotlighted right now. I, I of course, credit Lisa with how fast Sarah is, right? She's just passed it along dramatically. <laughs> Go, Heather, fellow Minnesotan. So what we noticed in the previous round is that for the most part, um, people, I'm just going to add, okay, just added one more spotlight. Um, okay. For the most part, people either tackled the lines of the shelves, the little wallpaper, contact paper lines, um, or the edge, like there, it seemed like there were kind of two approaches to doing that. Um, and then there was also a weird like cat or no cat. Some people did the cat right away. Some people waited into the cat at the end. Yeah. Definitely some different strategies. Oh, so the most interesting strategy goes to, I can't remember her name now. Uh, yeah, she one... waited to do the lines until the end, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, uh, Tina. Yeah, yeah Tina Roush. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Tina Roush. Yeah, she she did all the cat and the, the plates first and then and then the lines. That was such an interesting. Mm -hmm. It looked super cool. It, it was kind of I don't know. I thought it looked really neat. I'm just going to pull up some other people who haven't been up yet. Yeah, I can add a few in. Okay. People that we don't necessarily see all the time. Yeah, I'm going to put up Cleo. Oh, yeah, Cleo. Cleo. Cleo's always participating. Oh, interesting. Somebody was, like, keeping them in the box. and. Yes. Well, I remember that. Sorting, I think. Yeah. I'm going to highlight uh, Christina Lee here. She uh, lives in the San Diego area. She's always attending the Pacific Puzzler events. Yeah, I remember that uh, Mindy Whiting used to puzzle out of the box. And mm -hmm. then Jonathan said, hey, what if you dump out those pieces? 
and she got like super fast. <laughs> and I was, was like, Jonathan, don't fast. help people beat us. <laughs> she was already fast without dumping them out of the box. And then I was like, oh, now you made her even more fast. Yeah. <laughs> good, though. We want to help people get better, right? We want we want to win at Worlds. Dang it. We mm -hmm. want to go this year and we want to win. And I'm excited. Exactly. That we so had people on the podium. Don't be wrong. I was thrilled that last time we had a lot of people up on the podium, but it still just it would be really exciting to have somebody get first in one of the divisions. Right. It would be awesome. The competitive part of me doesn't want to give any uh, tips away, but that part of the other part of me is like, what if we, I just share every secret I possibly have. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like so I feel like speed puzzling sort of in like its infancy right now even though they had some competitions in the 80s and 90s it's really mm -hmm. kind of restarted right and so it's in its infancy and I feel like there's a lot of interesting stuff to learn about the sport I don't know if it was the sport about the sport we'll say sport and sport? It, there's a lot of like strategies to be developed and like best practices, you know, we know things like mm -hmm. generally do edges first, not this puzzle, uh, or things like that. But I feel like as sports and activities progress, people develop all these different things you never would have thought of. And I feel like puzzling is just like getting started with that. So it's so interesting. Mm -hmm. Which is why I think the speed run was so interesting is to kind of understand like how fast can someone really do a puzzle and what, you know, mm -hmm. what things make a big difference and stuff. Yep. I'm going to just go to gallery view for a little bit, just kind of get an overall look. Um, no, I think you're right. Cause I think too, we, having done this for many years, I'm kind of embarrassed to say, like, it's been like 23 years of speed puzzling for me. You go through these like phases where you're like, oh, you know, you got to do a super detailed sort. Like, that's the key. And then, Three years later, you're like, no sorting. <laughs> and so it's funny because I feel like going to Worlds and then seeing Kristen Tube, who we talked about earlier, coming second with a super detailed sort, not dumping the pieces out of the box, like just mm -hmm. like it blew my mind because it was sort of like, I think we had all decided like, no, sorting, it's too slow. You got to get right. going. But she would be 15 minutes in and hadn't even started puzzling. Yeah. And then she'd come in second and it's just sort of amazing. And I feel like that is part of the fun of it where you kind of just discover all these new things as, as yeah. you go. And you know how much I love comparing to running, but I always think of, something like running where like there are things that are kind of best practices or like mo mm -hmm. most people do or whatever, but there are things that just work for a certain person. And mm -hmm. I, that's definitely true for speed puzzling. It's just like, well, this yep. is what's best for this person. And like maybe no one else could sort and puzzle the way that Kristen does, but it is working for her. And if she tried to change it, I don't know if it would work for her. So, right. Feel free to go ahead and spotlight some folks, Allie, if you see some people you want to pull up. I'm actually going to get that we, email ready to say, go. Do we, do we all, I'll check in on uh, Zine and Kathy yeah, again quick. Know. They, it looks like Zine is definitely not doing the edge. She's just like, okay, I'm going to do these lines in the middle. if I can find Kathy sorry <laughs> it takes a while there we go oh I just looked back <clears throat> I was curious to see um where Kim landed and I should look at Doug as well so Doug Oh, uh, I'm back on the speed run thing. Uh, <laughs> Doug El Elwanger was doing the speed run puzzle quite a bit, and he came in at 115.20, um, and Kim Kenny came in at 122.35 in the last wave. Mm -hmm. And I, my time was in between them at 116.13. So not really sure what that means. <laughs> but 
I wonder, uh, we would have to compare their time in this compared to like a previous competition to see. Yeah. I think it's pretty hard to quantify like uh, of how much that might have helped you or, or didn't, you know? Right, right. Right, exactly, because it's so unique. But I wonder mm -hmm. if you did like a on average comparison or something, like how they do on average compared to certain people. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to get this new. Well, because I've heard people say like, oh, Gallison has a very similar cut every puzzle, you know, or most of their puzzles have sure a similar cut. And then, but I'm like, does that help me? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that would be. I get faster at Gallison's the more I do. I don't think I do. I think it still depends a lot on the image, not the cut, you know? I wonder though, because sometimes some of that stuff is like not as easy to notice, right? Unless you collect the data, which is what I like. Mm -hmm. I'm a real cool kid. And <laughs> um, maybe that'll be one of my next speedrun projects is uh, doing a Gallison one. Hmm. I need, to, I need to post about my other speedrun project. So I'm kind of looking for people that have finished the edge because we do have some people out there that they're done with the edge now or mostly done with it. Mm. Check back in with Heather. Check back in with Kelly Spoon. Let's see how Sophie's doing. Sarah, do we have Sarah up? Or should we? No, we don't have Sarah right now. I'm just curious. She's got... Jean's hands falling asleep or something. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we noticed... Like you said that a lot of people kind of did the like shelf liners and it looks like Sarah mm -hmm. Schuller has got the shelf liners almost done. Mm. Here this I can uh, be right in her wheelhouse this puzzle. Yeah maybe. Here I'll remove a spotlight for someone so you can put Sarah up. All right. So let's see here. In the live stream chat, we've got how many people are puzzling right now? We've got uh, 50 people. We're just trying to kind of highlight as we go. But uh, it may be good to switch back to gallery view at some point sooner than later. I'd love to hear how puzzle approach sorting this puzzle, Kim said. 
Tiffany Madero said, I just started, this is, we were talking about this. I just started doing the speed run puzzle on top of this completed puzzle because I didn't believe it was the same cut. I didn't notice at all when competing either. T that's right. <laughs> Tiffany was trying to keep, was trying to, to, to stay in the game there for a while in the speed run. She didn't notice. This is crazy to me. Now I'm really <laughs> curious if Kelly notices or not. Um, and also Tiffany, we would really like for you to share, I don't know, photos of the puzzle on top of the puzzle. That would be great. Yeah. We were talking about this. We thought that would be super interesting. I wonder if that'd be a cool, like time lapse. See, mm -hmm. like it might be kind of satisfying to see like the piece go on top of. I feel like I'm stressing out watching people that are just going so fast, like their hands are moving so fast. And I'm like, dang. <laughs> like, uh, uh. <laughs> and I don't think I, I just really, I feel like I can do that when I'm puzzling with other people, but when I'm by myself, I just do not pour it on like that. It's just weird. I don't know why. I just never feel like my hands are going that fast. But I constantly think about what you said now that Jeffrey Scott was like, are you puzzling as fast as you yeah. can? Like, I, I constantly think of that. Like, oh. right? yeah. Is it, does it help you? Because it helps me when I think that. I think it helps me. It just kind of reminds me like, yeah, move your hands faster. Moving faster. Yeah. Yep. That's awesome. Like, it sounds dumb to say like, yeah, here's the way to win. Move your hands faster. <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of true. Uh, well, it's so funny. Oh. Like, yep, that's an example of me just sharing my strategies again. So this Corey that I just put up, Corey is definitely got like I feel like some good sorting maybe happening. Kind of getting chunks done. And then Owen oh. here. Oh, shoot. I sh uh, sorry, I shared it the wrong way. And There's no <laughs> I just see your thing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. and I will check out the YouTube. I didn't have it up right now, but I'll look and see if there's any new comments. And while you're looking, maybe people can um, can message in there where they're watching from and if oh, they've yeah, been in an event before. So it looks like in the, oh, we've got some Sarah fans, people marveling at how Sarah's doing. because She's got the edge and the shelves almost done. People talking a little bit about uh, how they approached the order of things, it looks like. So that was a good idea to ask about that because some of the participants from round one are in there kind of weighing in on what worked for them. But Kim said something that we kind of talked about earlier where the, um, the cat is not that hard. Um, oh, I like that cat. Yeah, a lot of times the fur can be kind of eh, but it it actually is a small enough area that it, it and it's got enough, you know, around the edges of it that it goes together fairly quickly. I think people just, you know, force a habit like, oh, save the furry bits till the end, but then you end up doing it and it's not that hard. Okay. I'll I'll, I'll spotlight some new folks here. Is 
Suzanne's also doing well. She's got edge done and much of themselves. Awesome. We'll go back to the gallery to kind of see where folks are at with the gallery. It just looks like a big mess of puzzle pieces when you're not in the gallery view. These pieces are so big and they just take up so much. Well, and so, there's no like clear strategy on stuff either. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm trying to rest easy knowing that, okay, you know, in the, in the last time. one, it, yeah, in the last one, we, our brains were about to burst for about a 30 minute period when everybody got done. <laughs> and uh, we'll see if that happens this time around. Did you see the comments about where people are watching from? No. Oh, we've got watching oh, yeah. from Long Island, Switzerland, New York. Near Chicago, Mike Jigsaw Diamonds. That's where my husband's from. Woo -woo. Um, let's see here, Atlanta. Hey, so we got someone from Atlanta. Joy Lamar, our board member, uh, Faith Taylor, is in Atlanta. So you guys should figure out connecting. Unless that's someone you already know. Pasadena. We've got Switzerland, and France hanging out. What's up, guys? Switzerland. What's her in France? Oh. Hannah and Adrian. I don't know about that one. I hopefully said that right. Um, let's see here. Watching from Minnesota, new to speed puzzling, following Karen Puzzles. Woohoo. San Diego, go Christina. Philadelphia. Ireland. Breton, welcome from Ireland. Connecticut, mm -hmm. Pittsburgh. This is super exciting, you guys. I know. That is cool. Love it. Oh, and Cobble Hills is hanging out in the chat with us. What's up? <laughs> Woohoo! Shout Cobble out to Hill? Cobble Hill, our sponsor. Yes, we both love this puzzle and had different feelings about this puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> I love the puzzle as a speed puzzle. Not so sure. <laughs> <laughs> they said but you I guys picked a tough one. I'm like, yeah, yeah, we did. Whoops. Yeah, we always do. People got to get used to that. We like to pick the hard ones. Or you're getting your money's worth. You're getting to uh, puzzle longer. <laughs> <laughs> you're not being done in like 40 minutes you're getting right. to puzzle for a whole hour or more maybe even two hours <laughs> oh my gosh got more sarah, sarah schuler fan from south dakota kara from iowa what's up <laughs> and we've got alberta canada puzzling outside the box this is super fun. Right. I'm just gonna say cities and states and countries for the rest of the live stream. <laughs> Feel free to spotlight some. I have to step away just momentarily. I'll be right back, but okay. I can't spotlight. I'm still working on my email. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got Val stepping away. So it's just me. I'll just keep saying places. <laughs> what do we have highlighted here? I I can join in uh, too. Let's highlight some more, shall we? Maybe. Look at the operators again. All right, they're working it out. Oh man, these puzzles are all going to come together at the same time. Hmm. Okay, sorry guys, I am working on some ad spotlight. I like some new names.
Mm, I just undid all of my work. Cool. Oh no, okay. Don't mind me. All right. So let's hear in the chat maybe what people, who all in on the live stream has done some Cobble Hill puzzles before or who hasn't done it before and what you like most about their puzzles. Hey, Allie, can you hear me? Back. Awesome. Tried to hold down the foot a little. I just did some <laughs> kind of random highlighting so you can change everything about it sure. if you like. Well, I'm just trying to think if there's folks in here. I mean, uh, it looks like you've highlighted some of the people that, you know, traditionally do pretty well. I tried to highlight some newbies also. Yeah. I don't think I've seen Natalie Gorman before. Yeah. Sarah Rochler. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't believe I got that one name right. I'm really proud of myself. Hmm, Faith is audible on the live stream. Not my audio. Did I just block her out? Maybe. I don't know. She's trouble, so maybe I just didn't want to hear it from her. No, she's, she's muted on the, on the live stream right now. Her volume is turned up and she's not muted. Oh, so her video is off. Okay. We want Faith to chat with us. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, I asked. I asked in the uh, live stream, Val, about people mm -hmm. if they've done Cobble Hill and um, what they think of it. <laughs> Somebody's rooting for Aunt Tammy. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, somebody said they got one. They're from Adelaide, Adelaide Australia. I've been there. Ooh. Um, they just got one for their birthday, so they're going to be doing one in the very near future. Oh, I love Cobble Hills. Uh, Cobble Hill has like a direct line into my brain and what I want to be on a puzzle. Because if I go to a puzzle store and they have Cobble Hill, inevitably I come home with one because it'll have like a fantasy image or... <laughs> Uh, pop culture image that I particularly like. Like, I love to do a lot of these like montage pop culture ones that I I just love those. It's awesome. There's like a one, women of Star Trek. Um, I remember I got that for Christmas one year, and I was like, <gasps> I was so happy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I really like the puzzle uh, images that they choose and the artists they use. Cobble Hill. Yeah, I love their yeah. images. Mm -hmm. They're just like a really nice, like they're often very colorful, but have like a good blend of like difficult and easy. Like I feel like this is actually that blend, even though people are saying how difficult it's they super are. colorful, but it's a lot of floral pattern. <laughs> so it's also kind of detailed, which, you know, yeah, can be a little harder. Oh, Sarah is really booking. Have you looked at Sarah Schuler for a while? 
No, I just unhighlighted. So it should be, I just unhighlighted everything. Yeah, we're just in and gallery so, view right now. I okay, think. great. I just wanted to go back to gallery for a little bit. Can you um, man things for just a moment so I can yeah, finish yep. with that? Yeah, go ahead. Yep. Okay. And we're at 30, yeah, we're at 38 yeah. minutes. This isn't, I would say, you know, Sarah Schuler. it's not uncommon for her to finish Mindy Whiting too, actually, to, to do a individual contest. And if it's an easier design to get done right around the 40 minute mark, we're coming up on that and we're not going to make it <laughs> with this one, but um, still doing really well. Like no shade at all. Like still doing great. Just it's a little little harder puzzle. It's gonna be maybe more around that hour mark, I would expect, before we see anybody finish. But yeah, right on cue, I said that about Mindy, and then I just found her, and like, yep, she's kind of, I would say, close to Sarah. Mindy? What were you saying mm -hmm. about Mindy? Mindy Whiting, that she's, she just always, you know, does pretty well, and she's, yeah, yeah. She's, in, she's in it, I would say. She's, like, gotten a good chunk of the puzzle done. Nice. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid that we're going to run into the same thing we ran into last time. Oh, it's like yeah. not an easy, clear win again. That was extremely stressful last time. I am right here with you. For <laughs> everyone that doesn't, that I, doesn't I, know, I, if you think you get stressed out when you puzzle, let us tell you how stressful it is to make sure that we get the right times. It's yes. extremely stressful. I would and, do the puzzling part over any day. Yeah. <laughs> over with a puzzle like this where it's not like clear sections it's not clear who's about to win and right. it's even harder on live on video so this is gonna be a very stressful it's also learning because it's such a busy puzzle it's not like a big expanse of one color or something so you can't tell if people have pieces kind of sitting on top you really can't tell oh uh, Kaylee Clapp has something obscuring part of the view now on. Oh, it's doing a weird zooming in and out. Okay, that's new. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, Jean Reuter's video, I feel like I saw kind of do zooming something a weird like thing. that. Like her, yeah. Yeah, that's um, Jean's video, I think, not us. Okay. Okay, good. Got some right. cobbling. Yeah, uh, there are I'm, bigger I'm, puzzles. I'm, Sarah's got it right now is what I'm thinking. Like just seeing her now and looking at like oh how, my small, God. how small the spaces are that she has left. I Holy think, I think moly. That Sarah's going to be I pulling this one. Up in a little while. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Like she's just cruising. Oh my gosh. I'm thinking under an hour for Sarah, honestly. Holy cow. That's annoying, but awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Annoying and awesome. No, just, Sarah. Oh, yeah. And only annoying because of the competitive part of me. I'm happy for Sarah. <laughs> Do you know I was competitive? Faith, can I share no. this um, map of all the competitors? It's just the states that they're in. Sure. Go ahead and share that. In the share screen. Chat. Sure. Should I share screen or just uh, share the link in the chat? Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't think anybody's going to finish in like the next yeah, couple of minutes. True. So you probably can share screen. That's true. You're right. You're right. You can share the screen or the link. Or it. So a quick little cutaway. These are all of our competitors. We've got a lot of East Coast right here. And then very concentrated West Coast north here and then down the middle so we need a little more montana wyoming idaho colorado the dakotas all around in there all of them checking for hawaii just in case <laughs> very cool that was awesome thanks for sharing that thanks to faith for making it 
25 people in California out of 100. <laughs> wow. Well, you guys have a lot of people there, so that kind of makes sense. Yeah. Here's what I'm wondering. Are there are there people I'm not spotlighting right now? Yeah, let me start that are now. killing it. I'm going to add Megan Jones. I just kind of noticed mm, Megan Jones has got the whole cat done. I'll do my job now. I'll start looking around. Here. Rachel Walters might be misleading with the way she's assembling. She might be quicker than we realize. So, okay. Maybe I'll look highlight. For Rachel. Or here I can. I'll do it. I, right. I found it. Oh, yeah. There you go. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I saw one other. I was wondering oh, about Walter. Um, yeah, I was just um, going to say, yep. Do it. Uh, oh, I moved on right after I said it because I thought you were going <laughs> to. Yeah, all right. Here, I, can, I got it. You got it. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. I'm stressed out because this, oh. everyone's assembling it different ways. Why is everyone yes. doing that to us? So oh, Kelly Beer is also very fast. I'm, I'll make the on deck. Yeah. Kelly Beer. Let's see here. I mean, we'll we'll do some switching before people start to finish, I think. So we're still a little ways away, but well, I, I think Sarah, Sarah beats is, yeah, Sarah beats Jean and like Kathy. Crushes. She's gonna be feeling pretty good. <laughs> I guess. We uh, just don't know what to expect of them. With the incredible speed they show in pairs, yeah. it's like you just don't, yeah, you don't know what to expect. Right. So for the viewers in the pairs competition, I think you mentioned this somewhat earlier, mm -hmm. but um, Jean and Kathy Reuter came in eight minutes ahead of their, uh, of their oh, wait. Second place, yeah. No, no, no. Well, second place was actually further back. They came in. Oh, uh, yeah, that right. same puzzle was used in a Spain competition. And in the Spain competition, the top pair, they were mm -hmm. eight minutes faster than the top pair. And that Spain pair went on to, they, we found another puzzle they completed faster than Alejandro Clemente Leon and his partner at the world championship. Mm -hmm. they, they finished about a minute faster than the world champion. Jean and Kathy were eight minutes faster than those people. Yeah. So they are oh. fast. Yeah. I would say right now they're the top pair in the country easily. They won at nationals by a big margin. And now they're going to be, yeah. And then they came out of this crushing a puzzle that world competitors winners yeah. <laughs> have done. So yeah. Is, yeah. It's just, wild it's just crazy impressive. That. Yeah. But, oh, you know, I'm, I'm way better in a pair than I am in an individual. So maybe that's also going to be Sarah Jean and Kathy. They're better when they're working together than when they're trying to do it on their own. Yeah, that could be. Uh, well, I will say Alejandro, even though he's so super fast, his partner is, not, is just not quite fast, as fast as him. So I think, was he even in the top three pairs in Worlds? I think he got third. I think it was the other yeah. Spanish team and then the Czech team and then I think his team. No, it might have been. No, it was me, Kristen, and her mom that got third. I can't remember exactly. Let me just click. I have yeah, he might have even been fourth. I can't remember. But he, he was still very far up there, but it, it made a right. difference, right? Yeah. Yeah. Still, I yeah, I think as a pair, they may be the fastest mm -hmm. around. Yeah, so at U.S. Jigsaw Nationals, Jean and Kathy finished in 33-26, the Robinsberger puzzle of the, like, rice patty. And then Mindy Whiting and Gray were the next closest, and they were six and a half minutes behind with 39-56. So. How much difference? Sorry, I missed that. There's a six and a half minute difference wow. at Nationals between them and, and Mindy and Gray, who were in place. Sarah is like, she looks like she's moving in fast motion, kind of, I feel like. Getting some love in the chat. Thanks, guys. They said we're doing a good job hosting. Awesome. 
I wonder, should we, is there anybody here I should remove a spotlight from and, and pull up? Is there somebody else out there that we're not highlighting that's like a little closer? I know for us, we can see, you know, the gallery and see alongside the spotlight, but for them, they can only see the spotlight folks. So I'm, hmm. I'm going to be conscious of that. At least I think that's the case. I guess I could go look at the live stream and see. Oh, no, they can see it. Oh, what am I talking about? They can see it. <laughs> I should look at that once in a while and see what they're looking at. Oh, why did my comment not go? It's weird. Kelly Burr must have like a reflection from like a window shade or something on her table because those lines are... Oh, yeah, out. that's probably not helping her, I bet. Oh, you guys, look at Sarah. Oh, she's maybe got, what, 30 pieces left there? Look at her go. So Faith, you're still having audio issues. Are you just unable to unmute in the YouTube stream? It's weird because Tammy can hear her. Hmm. Not sure why. Can anyone hear Yeah, we now? need Faith to be able to talk. I can and hear you. I can hear you. Oh. I can't hear her. Oh, wait, say something. Uh, yeah, can you hear me? Looks like yeah. you're unmuted. I can't hear her. Why is that? I can hear her. <laughs> what in the world? That is odd. Sorry, everybody. Wait, did you mute yourself? Yeah, I need to leave and come back. Do that really fast. Oh, wait, no, that'll mess up my audio. All right, well... I'm I've done it many times by accident, Sammy. So I, or it, oh, sorry, Allie. So yeah. I think if you drop off the YouTube audio and come okay. back, it, yeah, it'll okay. be fine. Well, I think we need to keep an eye on Sarah there. Yeah, we do. She's really close. I mean, if she gets this in like 50 minutes, something, that would be incredible. She'll be like 18 minutes ahead. Amazing. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, and I just heard Faith. Cool. And Sarah's just about Watch done. Sarah, Ooh. she's almost can done. Can you okay, hear me, Ali? Yeah, Shoot, yeah I can hear you. I can hear oh. you. Sarah is about done by fifty-one nineteen. Wow. And we've got a first place finisher, Sarah Schuler at 5119. Holy moly, Sarah. Great job. Wow. That is so impressive. Ooh. She beat Simi by six six. No. What? Is this possible? It was nine, 16 minutes. That's crazy. Come on, Sarah. Give other people a chance. What in the world? How did that Congratulations. happen? That is impressive. That was a tough to get that done in that time, Sarah. That's wow. Wowie wow wow. That's Holy just fantastic. Wow. I was wow. thinking nobody would finish in an under an hour. And no. then she smoked it by like nine minutes. I think Jean's maybe next up. Um, I can't tell super good because it's, it's a little far away. Oh, well, I'm going to look through the gallery and see what else we got. If there's anybody that's sneaking up that we haven't really noticed. But wow. Great job, Sarah. Yeah, that was amazing. I think Kelly, Kelly Burr's looking pretty good. Look at how many pieces she has left. Yeah. I just spot oh, yeah. her. She's really, she's really looking. killing it. Mindy, Mindy's doing pretty good. Wow, Sarah just smoked it. I can't yeah. believe that. Now my gonna, question is, 
Do you want to spotlight Mindy if you're, if you have She's Mindy? Spotlighted. There she is on there. Okay. Sorry. Yep, yep. No worries. You're good. We've got Mindy, right. Kelly, Megan. I'll look around also. Yeah. As we get closer, you can start keeping an eye over there. Yep. Uh, if we're not showing the cat image anymore, then we can hide that video. Or maybe you want to show it again for a minute. Mm, pull it up. I just pulled up Rachel Walters because look at, she's doing pretty good too. Although it's hard to tell. She's got the poster over a big section. That might have been why. <laughs> oh, yeah. Be earlier, Val. Look a little more closely. That's the poster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, do you want to um, swap in maybe for Megan Jones even? Or yeah, whatever you're doing is good. Wow, Mindy's got like a handful of pieces right now. <laughs> it's like a big handful. It's just, I've started doing that, like holding a bunch of my hand and just kind of using it as a feeder um, for the other hands. I do that some, but um, like that. not that much. That's like a big, <laughs> that's a big uh, chunk. I'm stuck in on this video here. Clean's making good progress. I just told I think I just Kelly, Kelly Burr might sneak in there. I'm really glad I pulled her up now because I'm like, oh yeah, look at that. Sarah messaged in the live stream. I turned off the camera and then collapsed on the table. <laughs> she should have left her camera on for that. <laughs> we like Igni to Madera see said, it's, it's amazing to hear how people are powering through this one. I spent a lot of time screaming internally and out loud a bit too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to pull up Kelly Spoon because I think she's oh, yeah. also kind of you know vaguely in that same area it's gonna be like last time we're gonna have a bunch of people yeah, we're who finish so trouble yeah we are in trouble yeah <laughs> there's gonna yep. be a lot yep. but oh okay my goodness, let me Sarah. i'll look around right now and see if we've got mm -hmm. some others so on deck maybe is amy seligstein um melinda owens oh, is looking pretty good Love Melinda. Oh, let me pull up Melinda. Me hey, Ross. Tell me who you're who you're swapping her for, because I'll put them back on the list. Oh, right now, uh, I don't have anybody in mind because uh, Kelly was on my on deck, and then she's on there now. So yeah, I think she's going faster than. I Melinda. think we're gonna have quite a few finishers before Simi's time too. You think? Mm -hmm. I'll pull it. Oh, the Jean Reuter. And Kathy Reuter, oh my God, they're going to finish like right next so to each other. I know. Now, we don't want to have to be arbiters of a dispute between which one of oh them finished first. <laughs> Did you talk about how they try not to compete against we each know, other? Normally? Yeah. We mentioned at the beginning that they don't really like to compete against each other. I know. Maybe they're going to do the thing where they're going to finish at exactly the same time and then like high five each other or something. They're going to yeah. coordinate. Yeah. Okay. Amy said she's setting up a screen recording of the gallery view because that's how close some of this is going to be. It's going to be real yeah, bad. That's a really, really good pretty. idea. Good thinking, Tammy. Tammy's always keeping us. I was like, 14 steps ahead. That's why I'm glad she's my yeah. teammate. <laughs> We've got Kelly Beer with maybe 15. We've got Kathy Reuter and Jean Reuter. Kathy, I think, yeah, they're really close. Yeah. Mindy Whiting, she's close to it. I think those four. Okay. Skip to the zoom in with. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's got me so close. Oh my God. Kelly Beer. <laughs> Kelly Beer might have it. P.S. Did you know there are. Three Kellys on this call. <laughs> <laughs> That's not at all confusing. <laughs> oh, super helpful and easy. Okay. We're narrowing in here. So I, Kelly and Jean, I don't know. Yeah, I think you might be right. Like Kelly Burr, like she seems to have the same amount of pieces. I mean, she's got quite a few in her hand, but it's going to be interesting. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm afraid. 
Let us know in the chat who get you get in think under the hour is, mark. Is going to come yeah. in first out of Kathy, Jean, and Kelly. Who's going to get it? Yeah, I love this idea. Mm -hmm. well, we've got someone from New Zealand. We had Australia. Now we've got New Zealand. Yeah. That's so cool. I love that. That is, this is great. Awesome. As much as it's like, you know, <laughs> difficult stream, I'm really glad we do it. <laughs> You know, we always are like, oh, let's do it. Yeah, and then we're like, oh, why, why? Yeah, we make, we make Tammy really work <laughs> on the competition Dude, days of the live stream. <laughs> For those of you curious, Tammy currently has four personal devices connected to the Zoom. Okay, oh, Kelly, if you want to Kelly is done. We've got 58.57. What right, was Jean's gonna... time? Oh, and Kelly is 58.56. We've got Jean coming in second place at 58.49. Is that correct, Faith? Yes. And we've got Kelly right behind her, 58.56. Is that right, Faith? Yep. And yep. All right. Great work. Holy moly, you guys are stressing us out. You're so close. <laughs> Kathy or Mindy, we gotta watch. Oh, Mindy! No, oh, no, Mindy's still got a handful. It's gonna be between right, Kathy gonna, and Mindy. I'm gonna start looking around for more. Um, Val, okay. And I'll start spotlighting. You pay attention to the spotlight, okay? Okay. Yeah. Uh, does Mindy still have the whole cat to do? It looks like it. Yeah. I think it's gonna be it. Kathy. And now Jean is distracting her sister. What is happening there? <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> She's going to see her gabbing and talking to her. <laughs> see here. Who else do we have that's close? Oh, yeah. Good idea to add Suzanne. She's narrowing down. Yeah. Mindy waited her. to do the cat till the end. Uh, Suzanne's up to spotlighted. Yeah. You got her. Okay. How many spotlights? Yeah, spots he's just going to gonna finish, you guys. How many spotlights are left? Um, a couple. I think two. I'll just add a few then. Um, I'm going to add these ones and then I'll come back and see if anyone's closer than those ones. Okay. Oh, I really we thought Mindy was going to be quicker, but oh, she man, just saved the cat till the end. It's just right. Yeah. It's going to be really tight. <laughs> so you guys, we get a lot of messages from Tammy because she's managing so many things. So she has some really great comments in our channel and she said that we've destroyed a sister ship <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> oh man they're so close yeah oh no can you hear me okay faith can't hear me now <laughs> oh no is what it your is head happening? Okay, let's pay attention. Mindy and um, Kathy are going to be neck and yeah. neck here. Oh, they're neck and neck. Yeah. I'll hop. I'll hop. So this is this is fifth out. and sixth place that's going to be that's decided right now. Tired. They're so close. Oh, I bet Jean is telling Kathy that she's that they're close. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, wow. She's messing with her. <laughs> oh, you guys, Mindy just like oh, she's just going so fast. Oh. Yeah, Jean's on the live stream. That's awesome. Oh, she finished. Mindy finished. Um, 102. Oh, oh. All right. Yep. Just 102 flat. Um, yep. Mindy Whiting, 102 exactly. You are right there. Great work. And we've got, got Kathy finishing any second now. Coming up behind her. Done. Kathy Reuter, 102.30. Within seconds of each other. Great work. <laughs> great, great that work. That was awesome. Nice job. So that's our top six, right? No, five. I yeah, spoke too uh, soon, sorry. Oh, crap. I mean, let's use better <laughs> language, huh? 
Uh, okay, I'm going to go look in the gallery, see who else we could add in. Sure. Do you see I'll Amy, well. Melinda, Amy, Melinda, Courtney? I had tagged them at some point. I'll put Melinda in there. Um, Rachel Walters. Let's see. I think we're full up. Okay. Okay. Let's see if anyone else is looking more. Okay, this is oh. a scary. Oh, what? Kimberly Holtman is doing pretty well, but she's got sorters all over her puzzles. So mm -hmm. I'm like, what? I know. I keep, I keep getting tricked. I keep thinking like, oh, she's nearly. And then, oh, no, wait, that's a sorter and a poster. And yeah. So Kim Holtman, Courtney Ross, I'm putting them on deck. Oh, I hear things turning on and off on the stream. Maybe that's part of the issue. Michelle Kaufman looks decent, too. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? Kelly Walker's looking like maybe the next oh, yeah, step, don't you guys. think? Ellie Walters, let me see you. Oh, she's she's spotlighted okay. right now, and I feel like yep. she's she's probably going to be number six, maybe. Yeah. Yep. I think you're right. Okay, I've got about four on deck. So, ah, Kelly's cat just wanted to join in. Did you see that? No, I didn't. Her cat just walked over the puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> That's Kelly awesome. spoons. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. Because you said the cat looks just like the cat on the puzzle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kelly Walters, she's only got maybe, what, 10 yeah, pieces left there? Unless there's some hiding yeah. where I'm not seeing them. Uh, Kim Kenny said for a while I thought Kathy and Jean were puzzling in front of mirrors. <laughs> just twins. Just twins. <laughs> I love it, Kim. I didn't notice if they were wearing different colored shirts or anything. <laughs> Lisa Schuler's doing pretty well there, too. She's pinned on there right now, but yeah, Kelly Walter is almost done. There, I can actually look. Yeah, actually, Jean and Kathy were wearing matching. Oh, because I think they're. Oh, she, she was at 105.33, and I think she's lost a piece. Yep, 40, 105, she's, got, she's missing a few. She's missing a few. She's working on it. Oh. She's got it. And 105, 48? 49. 49. Okay. Yep. <laughs> All right. Great work, Kelly Walter. You took sixth place. 105, 49. Is that what I is that what I said a minute ago? Yep, that's what she said. 105, 49. 49. Kelly, Kelly Walter, Walter finishing, finishing out, out the, 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 top the top standings. standings. Great, Great work. work. Keep on going, everyone. This is a tough, tough puzzle. We know it. We've done it. We didn't love it because, because it, was it was so tough, tough for speed puzzling. puzzling. It's wonderful for casual puzzling. And please make sure as you're done puzzling that we have your hands fly up so we know that you're done. We've uh, had a couple of people kind of keep their hands down as they're trying to look at the time. Um, make sure those hands come off, please. Oh, shoot. Sorry about the echo. My bad. That's okay. We've been doing pretty good. Yeah, we've been doing pretty good. Yep. Um, to answer in the chat, we will be posting in the round one video. Um, when Maybe not right away after the session is done, because we're going to maybe take a nap. But we will get it posted. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It might just take a little, I don't know where it's at on the YouTube sometimes, like it's processing and stuff like that. So I don't know where it's at for Tammy, but I would think oh, it chat. would be later tonight. Number two. So our top three overall all came from this round. That's exciting. Yes, you are right. Actually, all six, all the top six finished before the first one in the individual round one. Uh, sorry, I was replying. Tammy might be able to post the wave one round 
Uh, now she said, "Yeah, you oh, are cool. right. All top six were in this round. Wow. Yeah, but Holy moly. they've anybody now is going to be after Simi. Yeah, because she was one hundred seven thirty five. So hi, baby. My dogs are like oh, oh, Valerie. Yeah, or any of you, if you have a chance to." Check your email. I sent oh, a, sure. um, what do I want to say? That's for later. Test email. Do you want to just double check that? If you have time, don't worry about it if you don't. I can put it on it. Cool. And we're getting some emails from some of the people who weren't able to stay or who are over the two hour time mark in the wave one. And so we'll make sure to include those results. People as well. Looks like Suzanne might be coming in. Coming in hot. I'm gonna go look around at some of the other on deck people. Do we want to add a thing about how they find their member ID if they if they don't know it? Um. Yeah, I can. I can find an instrument. Do we have like a? Do we that have would that? Would be my only feedback. I, I don't. Oh wait, know. I know where I can find it. I know where I can find it. <laughs> That would be my only suggestion. Otherwise, I could the links and they seem to work good and it's all okay. working. So Does that look okay? That looks good. Yeah, it looks fine. Thanks, live stream, for listening to us doing our admin stuff. <laughs> this is what you get. Sorry, not sorry. We can't have three audio, we can't have three audio streams going. Tammy's <laughs> head would explode. <laughs> We're already forgetting to mute and things and we should, so. <laughs> yeah. And I don't remember what I said. What did I rub in? <laughs> <laughs> I said something that already passed me now. Uh, I might I might oh. okay, so Suzanne's getting close. We gotta keep an eye on Suzanne. Uh, I wanted to look at Kim Holtman, Courtney Ross. Okay, we I'll unspotlight some folks here and uh pull up some. Well, folks. maybe leave them and but let me let's just look and I can look and see if the other one. Oh, is there's, there's a few people have a ways to go, so I think it's fine to. Okay, um, but Suzanne, I think Suzanne is next. Yeah, Suzanne's definitely closing in. So I'm going to add Courtney Ross. And then I'd say Sophie Figueroa is maybe next up after that. And Sophie then you said, yeah, Kendrick. you were going to. Yep, Sophie's on there already. She's, okay, great. she's already featured. Kim. But you went to Kim Holtman, so should I look for Kim? I do want to look for Kim and I'll look for Michelle Kaufman and Megan Jones. I'll see how they're doing. Oh, there's Michelle. I, I can pull I Michelle. Him. Oh, so there she goes. Yep. Okay. Oh, there's, yep. Oh, Suzanne's okay. just about done. Oh, oh, yep. Go, oh, Suzanne, go. Yeah, she's going to be my time. <laughs> Yep. All right. Let me let her know. Don't forget to mute. Great work, Suzanne. One eleven fifteen. That is seventh place in this round, and I don't know what it is for overall, but great job. <laughs> <laughs> Keep on going. Make sure to join us in a little while for the closing ceremony Zoom call. I, this round is being much kinder. They're finishing a little further apart um, than the last round. Because when you just said that, I don't know where, where Suzanne fits in overall. That's because there are like six people that finish between uh, our sixth and seventh place in this round. So a little harder to keep track of it all. We had a lot of people finish around the 110 mark in the it last It was round. brutal. Yes. Round two faster than round one. Sorry, Kim. <laughs> it could be Kelly Spoon and Sophie Figura kind of battling it out here for the next spot. Sarah Kelly said that Spoon. if this doesn't boost her J-PAR score, she's rioting. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that this will significantly boost your score. If it uh, doesn't, maybe we rewrite, rewrite, rewrite. That's a hard word. The algorithm. 
<laughs> yes, because it does, yeah, the the way that it's been set up, um, it uh, takes into consideration the difficulty of the puzzle and the other people's times. Mm -hmm. um, and considering you kind of smoked everybody, Sarah, I think it's safe to say that your, your score will be pretty good. Uh, I'm kind of looking around to see if there's anybody that we don't have on the screen right now that's mm -hmm. approaching, you know, kind of where everybody's at, but right, right. I'm not really seeing. I mean, I, I'd say everybody who's not being spotlighted right now, they're all in kind of a similar area, right. but not quite, not quite this far. I see a lot of people in the gallery who've got the edge and the shelf lines, and they're starting to fill in here and there. But I'm going to pull up Tammy Thompson here because I just noticed Tammy's got some pretty good amount done. Faith, do you know if there's a good spot uh, with directions for how to find your member ID? I feel like you put it in something um, recently, and I would love to just not rewrite it and just use what you had. Thank you so much. All right, we've got uh, round one is online now uh, in our streams. Uh, so for anyone watching, if you want to watch round one, that's now available. Thanks to wonderful... Amazing board member Tammy. I know doing, I think, a thousand things at the same time. It's <laughs> under it's under our streams. Um, under our streams. Should I share that link, Tammy? Oh yeah, we can put. I can put it in the chat here. Are you putting it in the YouTube oh. chat? Oh, she did it. Oh, she did already. Look at that. Oh, Wait, the rest. So amazing. Can you tell that we like each other? <laughs> Barely. <laughs> really do. I mean, I do think it's funny that we were like, let's not have a meeting this week because we're all tired. We've been doing so much. We're going to be online all weekend. And then Allie sends out a message that says, does anybody want to do the puzzle tonight? And everybody's like, yes. And then, <laughs> and then we spent like three hours together, like, on a random Wednesday, just puzzling. <laughs> uh, we were like, we really get to bad. actually hang out and not talk business. And then we did talk business, obviously. We talk business um. the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> and Mike is in the other room and he's just like, what are you doing? You constantly talk about how you need more free time. I'm like, I know. I can't help it. We just it. love each other. <laughs> <laughs> love you guys. Uh. Oh, oh, Megan, so wait, okay. somebody stuck in. Where's somebody Megan? stuck in and finished. Megan Jones. Oh, no. We didn't have her on the screen. Where's she at? Sorry, Megan. Did you get her time? It's 116. Oh, I can't see it. My thing's in the way. Oh, I had her in 116. 116. 20. All right. Yeah. All Apologies right. to Megan. Background. Megan Jones, you were so sneaky. You got uh, one sixteen twenty as your finish time. Great job. You you evaded us. We we didn't notice. So, uh, but great <laughs> job. Keep on going, puzzlers. Poor Megan. I can't see that. I didn't see. Okay, now I'm really looking harder, and I'm gonna. I'm yeah. just seeing through. Karen Megan Paris. Karen Paris. Um. What about? Michelle Kaufman and Kim Holtman, I had them at one time okay. noted. Um, Sophie Figura has got like six pieces left, so I can watch her. All right. You watch her. I just yeah, pulled up her. her. She's further along than I thought, yeah. too. 117.46 for Sophie Figura. 117.46. 
Is that what I said? 46? Yep. You said 46. I don't think I can hear Faith again. Faith, are you there? Um, oh, she's there. Great work, Sophie Figura. 117.40. I can't hear. Oh, I think your headphones might be dying again, Allie, because you They're just like, can, you, can anyone hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, they're going in and out, aren't they? Uh, I think they're going in and out. Ugh, it's a garbage. <laughs> just gave up. My normal headphones died, and so I have these plug-in ones, and they're just not great, apparently. Oh, okay. At least well, just plug-in. That's good. Uh, Kelly's got like 10 pieces left. I'm going to look around. So you, you watch Kelly. I'll yeah, look around I'll watch and Kelly see. Soon. Um, I'm going to add Melinda in. Oh, let's see here. Oh, she's close. Oh, Carrie Paris. Oh, you've got Carrie up there. Okay. Yep, I pulled her up. She was doing okay, good. I'm trying to see how are people doing in comparison. So Lisa Schuler, we might. If we have to replace someone, we might replace her. Oh, Sarah Rushla. Oh, yeah, she's doing good. I'm going to take oh. Lisa Schuler down for now, and I'm going to find someone who might be a little further. Ooh. So we don't need some. I don't know. I'm sorry. What? 1932. Yeah, 1932 for Kelly. Yep. Kelly Spoon, 119.32. Nice work. Kelly, go check out the live stream and some of the comments about this puzzle. <laughs> I love how you're just ordering people around. <laughs> I mean, that's my jam, bossing people around. People <laughs> are really nice. So you're like you like you're really good you just make sure you know people know what's going on i'm like listen we can say that i'm bossy because that's what it is <laughs> yeah, i also i completely own up to being bossy yeah i think it, it's self-awareness is like half of it <laughs> christina lee is doing good there oh i'm gonna pull up uh amy Slickstein yeah. too. yep i just noticed her cool yeah that. she's doing good Shirley Jane. This is great, you guys. Jane. Everybody's like giving us breathing room. I love this. I'm loving this. Right. Like, we are not in a total and complete panic. This is lovely. <laughs> I've got three ish on deck. Okay. So when we're, when we have a finisher, yep. Some people. And just to great. recap, we're at about how many people do we have left at this point? We're hour 21 minutes in. Um, if anyone has time to start adding into, I'm going to add at the end of the itinerary, the top six finishers for each um, oh, okay. round and mm -hmm. the top three. So if anyone has time to help add to that, um, that would be great. I'm kind of keeping an eye on it because we have a few people who could start to finish kind of quickly. I'm looking at Heather Mueller. She's she's just got those little onesie twosies like everywhere to fill in. Uh, we only have had 10 people finish in this round so far. Oh, interesting. It's a very different yeah. split from. Yeah, it is. We had a bunch of people finish quickly, like earlier than the first round. Mm -hmm. And now it's kind of, you know, coming in more slowly. Oh, Heather just did some flipping. A flippy flip. Yeah. yeah, see, look at how fast she's going. I think she's going to be done before, I think by 123, she's going to have this done. Cool. I just found the directions for finding your member ID. <laughs> cool. Yes. Thanks for trying. It was hiding on a puzzle club results entry form. I'll probably put that somewhere more convenient. <laughs> Good idea. No. Oh, is she going to do 123? Is she going to do it? 
Let our hands go. 123. <laughs> exactly. Oh, wow. Yes, exactly. Can I call it or what? Do it. Oh my God. Yes. A lizard. <laughs> You're kind of a big deal. 123 for Heather. Nice. Oh, and then they she were to Heather Mueller. 123 exactly. Such a great puzzle, Mom. <laughs> and a great USAJPA volunteer. Yeah, shout out to Heather, one of our volunteers. That was a good time. Anybody okay. doing this in under an hour and a half, I'm honestly like, yeah. you go, man. <laughs> Good. I don't hold out much hope that I'm going to finish it in under an hour and a half. This is one if I unwrap this worlds where they only give you an hour and a half, I'd be like, we'll see. Take my little Robin's Burger drawstring bag and uh, see you guys later. <laughs> um, Carrie Paris and Christina Lee, I feel like, are right there Meet with up. each other. Zoning in. Also, uh, in the chat, we have Allison Ewer from Sal Salem, Oregon. We competed in our first event today. Welcome. Cool. Tiffany Medeiros wants to know board members' mm -hmm. times on this puzzle. Oh. I shared it in the last one. Can I share mine? <laughs> no, you should no, share. Really you really do not need to share. Just share yours and Tammy's. I'll just share mine. Babe, babe okay. So Up everybody to Tammy was, was yeah. Full okay. disclosure, it was like eleven thirty at night yeah. for Faith when she was puzzling. Like it was late, mm -hmm. and I had to take the next day off of work because I had a migraine. It was that bad, yeah. and it we were bad. chatting. I mean, I have yeah. a lot of excuses. You can. <laughs> I'll say eleven thirty at night is very valid. That's oh, too late. Gary's almost done. I came. I came in at one sixteen thirteen. I mean, it was 114.45, and Faith was just after us. So that's all. I was at like 130. It was done. <laughs> He's been nice. But we, it was like we said, and I have data that shows this is true. Late in the day makes, I know it makes me significantly worse. My guess is it makes others significantly worse. And while <laughs> chatting, oh, is that, oh. Wait, Carrie Paris, I don't know. She's not quite done. She just grabbed like a chunk of pieces off of the puzzle. It was blowing my mind. I know. I was like, what is happening right now? And then she's like kind of moving them around. Her. I'm like, <laughs> what happened? Um, no, I have data that shows puzzling late in the day after work absolutely um, makes you less speedy. And we were chatting. I need to have data on that. Ooh. On the chatting. <laughs> Yeah, we, should, yeah we could start experimenting like it because now that we divide puzzle club into chat no chat you know mm -hmm. kind of rooms people could yeah. switch back and forth and see if they feel like they're way faster in the no chat yeah. room yeah, yeah. let's do this one with no chatting actually you'd yeah. still <gasps> do you want to <laughs> i would i want to do I it again totally do that. okay cool did you get your speedpuzzling.com puzzle oh um because yeah. We could do our duel, but with no chatting yeah, this time. I, yeah, I did get it. We could do we a could duel. Do it. I want to keep it thinking Carrie is done. I know, but no, I, she's so chill. Oh, <laughs> and Sarah's Sarah. close too. Sarah's yeah. looking at. Oh, let me go yeah. look in the gallery real quick. Make sure we're not missing anyone. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah, Sarah. Carrie's got like is... three or four pieces, but so does Sarah. Yeah, Tiffany Medeiros, didn't I? I, I was right behind you, I think. You and I oh, go back. Oh, Sarah's done? Okay, Sarah's done. 127.08. Which she might be missing a piece, I suspect. 127.08. Okay, yep. Great job, Sarah. 127.18 uh, with your with your missing piece, right? You had a missing piece. Give us a thumbs up if that's accurate. Yeah, yeah. okay. 127.18 with your missing piece penalty. Great work, Sarah. Rochla. <laughs> I keep trying to say your name, Sarah. Great job. Sorry if we're we're ruining people's names. We really mm, don't mean to do that. Maybe she's writing in the chat how to pronounce it. That would be awesome. <laughs> Tell us how to pronounce it in the chat. 
<laughs> oh, freshly. Freshly. I was wondering that. Perfect. Freshly. That's awesome. I tried freshly. Freshly. Great job, Sarah. Freshly. <laughs> Okay, Carrie, I think Carrie just finished one twenty eight oh seven. Yeah. Oh six. Okay. Okay. We'll give her that. One twenty eight oh six for Carrie Paris. Is Carrie Paris. Missing a piece? I think she's missing a piece. Are you missing a piece, <laughs> Carrie? Give us a thumbs up if that's true. Okay, missing a piece. 16, then. 128, 16. Yeah. Great. Oh, work. all these people missing pieces. What's up with that? Hopefully it's just like somewhere underneath something or might be bag, on the floor. Bag and yep. Oh, did you find it? She did. It was in the bag. Classic. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Great. We're glad you right. found it. Christina's almost done. Yep. I like five right. more pieces. Oh yeah, like me and leisurely. I have to say, was it your no. graphics that dog puzzle where we had like a bunch, like so many people were missing a piece or pieces? Yeah, I feel like that did happen. That was kind of wild. And then some people had extras, so you know they had each other's pieces. Yeah. <laughs> like Not as awesome the as the time I found my missing pieces in my friend's extra pieces. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, Christina. Christina. Yeah. I'm Christina like amazed. Like, that are hard to, to see, sorry. Oh, are they? Okay, that are just not in yet. Yeah. Maybe on top of the puzzle or something. So I'm like, gosh, it looks like she's got a lot of blank spaces, but they're they're to her right, and it's just hard. It's right under her name. Um, spot, I'm having a few more people in here that I just kind of noticed are doing pretty well. Yeah, was looking oh. good. Yeah, yeah. Jasmine, Jasmine, uh, should be on deck. Maybe I'm just noticing. Yeah, Jasmine. I have her in the on deck. I've got Shirley Jang. Aswin Butcher and Lisa Helms. Well, let's see if any of Did them... I remove anybody out of here right now? Well, Elizabeth I'm... Walters is I think it's hard to tell, but I think Elizabeth Walters is ahead of Rachel. Oh, we're gonna have a bunch of people like okay. finishing close. Now we're getting into that territory where, okay, really Holtman has all the cat left. So I'm going to move her and pull up Jasmine. I've got no, yeah. no, Jasmine Michelle Kaufman. Michelle Kaufman, I'm going to swap her out for Rachel Walters. Wait, okay. Guys, I keep moving, keep losing my person when you do that. Christina, I think Sorry. She's, <laughs> she's 130.47. Done. Uh, Faith, will you repeat that for me? Yeah, 130.47 is what I had. Yep, Christina Lee, 130.47. Great work. San Diego represent. <laughs> I think Melinda's coming up next. Yeah. Melinda or Tammy Thompson's really close, but yeah, probably Melinda. I think you're right. Um, who else? Yay, Melinda. Melinda, yeah. I can't believe we're over the one and a half hour mark. This wasn't Yay, 130, Melinda. 135 <laughs> for Melinda. Yep. What was it? 130, 130. Yeah, go ahead. 130, 135. 131.35 for Melinda. Nice work, baby. <laughs> I love As Melinda. You guys tell, I'm a little tired and a little fainty right now. Holly, it's only like four o'clock there. I don't know what you're complaining about. I got up <laughs> at 7 a.m. and I went to bed at 1 a.m. <laughs> oh, that's why. Like, I got up at 7 too, but. Let's ask yeah. Tammy what time she went to bed and what time she woke up. I think she was, she's oh, very like, like, shower, Tammy. That's no. impressive. I didn't know. <laughs> Tammy is impressive and how little I know. She's... I don't know how she does it. I'm pulling up Lisa Schuler. I just added Kim Holtman. She's yeah. got a cat shape left. Oh, and Tammy got a good amount of sleep last night. She went to bed early. What's oh, early for you? Oh, 11. Whoa, yeah, Tammy. 11. Are you okay? <laughs> Wait, okay, I'm going to pull up Natalie. 
Oh, did I just, I just added someone. I, just... I think you did at the same time. That's okay. Oh, Rachel Walters is looking really good though. I should get rid of Shirley. I think Rachel I'll take Elizabeth her. off for a little bit too, because Elizabeth's got a ways to go. Debbie's almost one left. But I'm going to add Natalie in because I think, oh no, we can't now. Crap, okay, did I? Go. Has her no, crack here. Up. I got it. I, I got think... it. Okay. There, now That's you sweet. can add who you want. I'll add Natalie. I just want to check in because Natalie, look at Natalie there. There's, there's not a lot of pieces left. What did you say, Faith, that we interrupted you? Oh, we talked about this. <laughs> Michelle Kaufman's pretty close also. Her and yeah, Tammy. Tammy and Michelle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, my neck's starting to get sore. <laughs> I no almost look like they're slowing down. My, here we go. I think, is there anybody closer to finishing than Cleo right now? Anybody else in that vicinity? Oh my gosh, Kelly didn't notice that the pieces were the same either. What happened? <laughs> They're not doing it enough. That's crazy. Okay, 13421 for uh, 13421, Tammy. Tammy Thompson. Yep. Wait, what was that again? You said 13421. <laughs> oh. 13421, Tammy Thompson. Great work. Okay, she's the only other one that's finished right now, right? That wasn't somebody else that just said done. Correct. Okay, I think Michelle will be next. Courtney's really well. No, Courtney's got a little ways to go to. Yeah, I'll look for. Oh, on my on decks were Shirley Jasmine and Lisa Holmes. I'm gonna spotlight Owen because I feel like I yeah, he's got a little left, but get close. What about Elizabeth Walters? Elizabeth, Shirley, and Jasmine are all right there with each other, but they're not there yet. Mm -hmm. Do you have space for someone or no? Yeah, we have space. I'm going to put Elizabeth for one in there. more. Let me know if you feel as though someone else should be in there. Well, I had Owen in there, but I think he's probably pretty close to where Elizabeth's at, too. So, but Cleo. Lisa, yeah, Owen, I see. Okay, I'll put him on deck. Maybe it's going to be oh, Rachel Kaylee. or Michelle Kaufman. Maybe Michelle Kaufman. I'm watching Michelle. Okay. If you watch Rachel. I'll watch Rachel. I, I'm Day looking one, at, I'm looking back 30, at, go ahead. Yeah. One, oh. 136 for Michelle. Okay. 136 even? Yep. Okay. Michelle Kaufman, 136, even great work. <laughs> Go have some tea now. Or pet a <laughs> kitty. <laughs> oh, maybe she didn't hear me. Michelle, you're all good to go. 136, even. Excellent job. Oh, Rachel's so close. Okay, I'm back. I'm looking at the live stream. 136.42 for Rachel. Okay. okay. I'm back. 136.42. 136.42. Rachel Walters, nice work. Excellent job. It goes quick towards the end when they just, you know. Kimberly's always, awesome. Sorry, Val. Who? Kimberly Holtman. Oh, is she up? Okay, yeah, she's up. Great. Oh, there it is. 13710. 13710. And 13710 for Kimberly Holtman. Great work. You guys are all, there's a bunch of you close to each other. So keep puzzling hard. I know it feels like it's been a little while, but you are really close to beating someone else. So keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pin Lisa again, Lisa Schuler. Just to see where she's at. It's a little hard to see her when I'm not zoomed in. It was weird. Lisa was really rocking it earlier. I feel like now she's she just hit a slowdown. 
Yeah, that's what Lisa's, happens, right? Lisa's very fast. Like, she's puzzled with my team quite a bit um, at the Duluth Derby, and they won, like, multiple times with Lisa, and she's just a speedy, speedy puzzler, so. Natalie looks like she's about to finish. Is she? Yeah, Natalie, definitely. That's really Closer. Okay, 138.16. Yep, nice. Done. 138.16, Natalie, great work. You listened <laughs> to my advice and puzzled fast. <laughs> I'm going to be a stand-up comedian someday, but with all the <laughs> cheesiest jokes that I can possibly think of. Actually, I want to be a, a dad someday so I can make dad jokes. Oh, you don't have to be a dad to make dad jokes. Everybody makes <laughs> dad jokes. Um, uh, Jasmine. Oh, Kaylee, Kaylee Kopp yeah. is, I'm going to add Kaylee Kopp yeah. into the mix. I just looked at hers and looking good. Jazz, Jasmine. Think, look, Cleo's Jasmine. nearly there, you guys. Cleo's only got a handful of people. But what's going on? She's kind of moving it around like she, she doesn't know where they go. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, Marcus let's Dickinson. Uh, let's swap in Marcus for Lisa. Yeah, I'm okay. going to take Lisa Schuler down. Go ahead. Yep. And put in Marcus Dickinson. Oh, I'm going to swap out someone for um, Jasmine, Marcus. too. I think I'll take Owen out and swap in Jasmine. Yeah, that works. Now, where did Jasmine go? I did that. And then, oh, there we go. I think Elizabeth's almost done. I'm scrolling super hard. Where'd she go? Elizabeth Walters is 139.51. 139.51. Great job, Elizabeth. You had 52. We had 51. So you can get that extra second. <laughs> All right. Oh gosh, Cleo, Marcus is really close. Oh, this is so great. Everybody's just at a leisurely pace, like finishing, like, and then a minute later, somebody, it's lovely. I love this. <laughs> All right, right no, who's I'm watching Cleo? Saying. Who's watching Marcus? Mm. Wait, what about Jasmine? Shoot. I'll watch Jasmine. I'll watch Cleo. Allie, can you watch Marcus? Cleo's done. One forty forty eight. He's missing Allie? a piece. One. Oh no, no. Oh, she's got more going than I thought. Okay. Oh, Marcus is done. Marcus is done. One. All right. Done. Great. We've got Cleo finished at one forty forty six. Marcus at 140.54. We got your time a little quicker than that. Great work. You were right behind each other. And Courtney Ross, done. 141.14. Is that what you saw, Faith, or did you see faster? I didn't see that one. 141.14. Great job, Courtney. You guys were in within seconds of each other. What was Marcus's time again? 140.54, Allison. Okay. Close. Oh, so Jasmine's close. just about yeah. done. She is 141.53. And that was for Jasmine? Yep. And Jasmine Butcher, 141.53. Great work. <laughs> great work. Great work. Very nice. That was a bit like rushed there. We had a good bunch, like all kind of right at the same time. I am going, is this going to be controversial to go to gallery view right now? I, I think we've got a little time. Amy, yeah, I think you're right. Is that okay? I'd like to just kind of see how many people we've got left. And it'll be nice to get an overall view like that, I think. Give people a sense of where they're at. So this is everybody that's left now is on the screen. 
So we've got 20 people and we are at the 142 or 143 mark with 20 people left to go. That's pretty good. I think a lot of these, you know, I think a good amount of these will finish before the two hour mark. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I think I so. Think 22 people left on the spreadsheet. Okay. I'm going to start pulling the pairs. Maybe dropped out. Corey needs more light, ma'am. That looks really dark. But I love that some people are outside, and I'm so jealous because you guys, it's like 40 degrees here today, and I still have like two feet of snow in my yard. <laughs> and it's April 29th. <laughs> Great. I feel so sorry for our college students because, like, this should be the time when everybody's sitting out in the quad and, like, playing hacky sack <laughs> and, like, frisbee. And for the last few weeks, we've still been getting snow showers and, like, rain-snow mix. And it's been, like, 45 degrees every day. Oh, it's <laughs> brutal. It's been a brutal spring. It's been a non-existent spring. It's going to go... One day next week, it'll be like 90, and then it'll just be, be so hot. Summer. Yeah. So the people that are still watching in the live stream, why don't you tell us who you're here to see? If you're rooting on someone yeah. that you know, or if you were excited to see a certain puzzler, let us know. Yeah, we'll spotlight them. There was somebody rooting for an Aunt Amy earlier, but maybe maybe they're not on here anymore. There is an Amy, wasn't there? Oh, you're right. It was Aunt Sammy. Sorry, there's a bit of dead air there. We're, we're chatting <laughs> in, the, in another channel, folks. I've been trying to think of like some other things we could talk about, but it's like, you know, we've been doing this all day now. I feel like we've probably hit on all the things, although people aren't, you know, all watching yeah. us at the same time. Right. Any surprises from you guys? I think the biggest surprise of the day is Sarah finishing that Correct. far ahead of everybody. Um, but anything else? Oh, Amy looks like she's done looking for a piece. Oh. oh, she's got the piece. She's got the piece. Now 146, 48. 50, 58. Sorry. What, what is it? 146, 58. Thank you. <laughs> I'm done. You might be tired. 146, 58 for Miss Amy. Great work. <laughs> Owen's getting close. I'm going to spotlight a few people again. Owen and Kaylee. So let's see. Yeah, let's spotlight Owen, Kaylee, Shirley. Looks like Shirley's getting pretty close. 
Who else? Spotlight Lisa Fuller. Where's Jacqueline? How's Jacqueline doing? Uh, I was muted. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I was like, why are you ignoring me? Um, we've got <laughs> responses in the live stream chat about people that people are here to watch. So I don't know if you saw Allison H. Oh. Who? Um, Allison H has. Oh, multiple... yeah. We can spotlight Allison. And sure. she's got someone from Adelaide, Australia that she was telling about and um, this live stream. And so they joined. And we also have Jamie. We have someone here watching Jamie. Oh, let's pull up Jamie. It was, oh, Jamie Chico. 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 That's oh, right. I said yeah. it right earlier. I <laughs> ruined it now. Oh. <laughs> Um, Lisa Schuler, uh, that comment was from the Mallory move, AKA Leslie Mallory. <laughs> I just had her up. I'll pull her up again. Um, we also have someone here to see. Oh, someone said they follow USAJP on YouTube and it popped up. Woo. Nice. Hey, Kelly's just got a few pieces left. Yep. Oh, I'll pull the timer in. Sorry. 149.38. Done. 149.38. Is that what you said? Yep. 149.38. Was that Kaylee? Yeah, Kaylee. 149.38. Great work. Or like, do these people know what they're doing? Anybody um, else looking for anybody in the chat? Oh, somebody entered um, the waiting room, but I'm guessing we shouldn't let them in. No, no, not yet. Um, I'm not sure. That's a competitor. That's a competitor, and we need to. Oh, now, is this the stream? Is this the Zoom link you gave for? Hold on, we need. Sorry, we need to let Vivian in. I think because she's supposed to be competing currently. Oh, okay. Oh, do shoot. It. Okay. I'm letting her in. There's no I, just time don't for want her to, I just don't want her to talk on the video and interrupt folks if she, maybe we'll have to message her right away to just kind of, or do you want to say something, Allie, or what, how do we? I think she oh, probably just, what, she just what wanted me to watch. <laughs> She's in here, I think. What do you, what do you want me to do? No, I just don't know. Like if she, if she already, oh. like she'd already started earlier and then got booted out or something and then came back in is that what yeah. it is okay oh, and okay. now we can't see her video oh yeah no i can there. see her yep okay I can see got her. it okay so, cool so just that's what in. i was just okay. wanting to check on i was just like what's going on like why is all right in? um i can look at what, what i've shared cleo cleo just commented what was that puzzle and why was the fur the easy part <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah are you Cleo? <laughs> we understand. Um, you know that it's the best when you have to complain about it, though, right? It's a good level. Of yeah, it's more memorable that way, right? Absolutely. If it was just like fun and easy, you'd be like, "Oh, that was fun." <laughs> um. Okay. Boy, Lamar that was her first, their first time watching. Good to have you. In Carrie Paris, there were 50 puzzlers in the first wave and the second wave, so there's 100 individual puzzlers overall. Oh, I was uh, going to ask Valerie the Zoom link that you gave for closing ceremonies. Oh, is that the sure. same as yep. this link? Is that no. the same as this one? Okay, no, then I don't... I don't know if we can keep the live stream going from here. Is that true, Tammy? Yeah, it's a different link. I can I can put the um, meeting info. Uh, what did you I say, Miss Tammy?
Cleo just said, be right back. Need to get my recycling bin. Okay. <laughs> Tammy said we can keep, we can, we will be fine. So anyone on the live stream, if you want to see the closing ceremonies, um, we'll continue off of this live stream. Um, but we will do some switching of Zoom rooms. So it might be a little messy for a minute, but. Corey's done. What was the time? 53. I think we'll have 5314, but I think we should confirm with her. Corey, 153.14, we think, but we want to double check with your timer if you could show us that. One fifty three thirteen. We're going with that. Nice work, Corey. Other people that are still puzzling. There are some of you that are definitely close to each other. So keep on puzzling your hardest. We know that you've been puzzling for too long and you want to be done. And so just keep on going and you're doing great. <laughs> Mike is rallying so hard right now. I think we will want to say at the closing ceremonies that the times are still tentative. We may have to double check a few. Okay. Oh, this is already sorted. I noticed that Kyle was highlighted blue. Is there any particular reason? At that time, I think just needed to be checked. He, he might have been a few minutes faster. I don't think it matters. Yeah, right? the difference. Which one, or are we uh, talking this round or uh, a previous round? No, uh, previous, previous round. Oh, Kyle, close in. But I don't think it was close on either end, right? From this it round. It was like 23 seconds slower than someone so if you yeah. think he was 20 more than 23 seconds faster but surely it's just about up. done yep mm -hmm. it is surely oh sure okay. go 34 yep. 155 35 34 yep 155 34 surely great work you were right there. So awesome job. Got someone on your tail. I don't know if she can hear you, but maybe. Uh, oh. oh, Owen is so close. Owen's definitely next up. Oh, oh. 156, 17 and some awesome tunes. Oh, and great work. <laughs> Way to get in <laughs> under the wire. Nice job. All right. I'm going to go back to gallery view. I feel like we've got a lot of folks now that are sort of got a little ways to go. So, in the interest of sticking with the live stream thing, are we just going to keep going until 7, basically? Because that gives people 18 more minutes to kind of... And what yeah. do you need? Do you, do you already have rankings kind of? Or yeah, is I'm she kind of done. Out, or are you working on it? Okay. Yeah. Um answer someone in the live stream chat we'll get uh we'll we'll actually be posting these results on our web score page and we'll email people with the results and everything so um if you can't make it to the closing ceremonies that will be okay but um you'll hear sooner than later the results at the closing ceremonies we won't hey, read I'm, all the results just to be clear <laughs> but we you, will read the top results yeah hey, i'm gonna sort this page really quick so i can get the times so just uh 
that one moment. <laughs> Thank you for warning me. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want that to all of a sudden change on me. I'd be like, what the heck? Yeah, I would have been mad. Oh, Lisa Schuler just did some spinning. Spun that puzzle around. I'm done now. I think Lisa's probably next up. There's two Lisas, Lisa Helms, Lisa Schuler. I think they're probably the next two that would finish, maybe. I think my voice is starting. Wait, wait, who? What? Somebody finish? Jane Davis. I can't tell if she's just puzzling or she kind of looked like she was done. Uh, no, I don't think. No, she's looking at pieces yeah. right now. Yep. Okay. Okay. Good. Good eye, though. I can't so tell hard you guys how see. much my stomach is growling. It's so much. <laughs> Why don't you go get some food, Ali? Like, I'm going to eat something. My throat I, like hurts. It feels ridiculous. I think I've talked too much. So the overall, the top three overall are the same as the top three and in the individuals too. All right. I just gave it away. Scream. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do? Okay. I am going to go grab something really fast. Be right back. All right. Yep. I'm going to mute. I just saw Tammy's comment in the Discord. I think people will still come to the closing ceremony just for our charming company. <laughs> Even if we just ruin the results. <laughs> They'll come, maybe. <laughs> they all want to come so they can complain to each other about the puzzle. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, wherever Stephanie Vargas is, that's where I want to be. Look at that blue oh, no. sky, sitting outside, green lawn, no sign of snow. That looks that looks just lovely. I, it was actually really nice here in Atlanta today, but not that nice. I went for a walk this morning before so that I would get some I? activity. <laughs> and it was raining and like 45 degrees. So. Oh, well, was like nice and like 70. No, it was maybe like 60, but that's perfect. Sorry. It's okay. The dogs did not want to go, but I was like too bad. <laughs> they they don't like to walk in the rain. They they both are kind of weird that way. They don't like, like to early. step on. They don't like to step on wet things. Like <laughs> they're both like eh, eh, eh. <laughs> too bad. <laughs> that's funny. It was a good idea because now they've been kind of tired the rest of the day and pretty chill. <laughs> Tammy just mentioned your dogs need booties. We have to find the booties. <laughs> they don't like those either. It's a tough one. can't tell how Lisa Schuler's doing over there. I didn't realize the highlighting actually <laughs> like necessary for me. Oh. <laughs> you guys know about my pajama pants? Yeah, you forgot <laughs> to turn your camera off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, <laughs> these are puzzle related because they're from the St. Paul Winter Carnival. I got them when we were there for the puzzling event, so I thought they were appropriate. And thank you, Tammy, for doing that. I have to I'm starting to lose my mind right now. I'm turning off the camera for a moment to do some stretching. <laughs> um, I, got a, I got a message from um, Myers that they really enjoyed it, but they went ahead and signed off uh, because they've got a while to go. Oh. 
Yeah, why did I? Oh, those results. So. Yeah. We're just um, going to keep this live stream going and we'll switch to the other Zoom. At eight. So is Lisa done? Yeah. Uh, did Lisa just finish? Excellent. Yeah. What'd she get? Finally. Nice work, Lisa. Do you want to confirm your time for us with the timer there? Yeah, 2.03. 2.03.32. Excellent. Thank you so much. Great work. We know this is a rough one. That's what I mean by sneaking in. <laughs> People like don't look like they're super close and then all of a sudden they're done and it's like, hey, wait, how did that happen? All right, I'll spotlight a few people. I feel like Amelia, you can spotlight. Um, Val, actually, yeah. we're over the two hour mark now. So I oh, think. Oh, okay. So maybe no spotlighting. <laughs> right. I think it's going to be the opposite of that. Oops. Um, cool. Well, I am on the Zoom call saying this. So cool. Uh, so we are at the two hour and four minute mark, you guys. Um, everyone is doing such a great job. Uh, we, we know this was a tough one. So great job to everyone for persevering through this. You can still submit your times. Just leave your timer going. And, um, and then shoot us an email with your, your time. Uh, when you're through. Sorry, my brain's a little slow right now. And um, if you need to pause it and come back to it, that's acceptable because it's going to be an unofficial submission, but um, you can go ahead and submit those final times to us um, when you're able. Uh, board members, did I miss anything else? Otherwise, what we are going to do now is um, we're going to keep this Okay. Um, oh, okay. You guys can go ahead and keep on puzzling though. <laughs> We're going to keep this stream going until seven. Is this accurate? Hold on one second. You guys keep puzzling. Yeah, I'm not guys. sure. I didn't, we were thinking we would just keep the live stream going since we didn't set up a live stream for closing ceremonies. And then we would just do we need seven, a minute to switch, switch over, over though? To the other Zoom. I can start the other Zoom meeting like right okay. now. Like Tammy, as wow. a logistics person, when should we switch over to the other Zoom? Okay. And it won't take very long to switch over. It'll take just like a second. Okay. So okay. we'll stay on this until, okay, great. We'll stay on this yeah. until 7 p.m. Central exactly. And then we will switch it over to the other Zoom and the live stream will stay up. So people watching on the live stream, you'll be able to, to see that being streamed. Okay, I'll let the competitors know. Perfect. And then I will start the other Zoom and let us in. If you guys can go in simultaneously or if Ali, you want to jump out of this one and just Jump into that one. I you can do it however you guys would want. So competitors, we have confirmed our plan. Uh, continue puzzling. We will stay in this Zoom chat and for another approximately eight minutes uh, until uh, seven p.m. Central exactly, and then we will switch over to the closing ceremony Zoom, which you all should have the link for in your confirmation emails. And we will see you all uh, potentially over there, or keep on puzzling. But we will be over there announcing the results that, that will also be live streamed. So great work. Hang out for a little while longer. We'll be here with you. Hopefully that was all right. Yeah, I think just to let you know, I think I just tried to start the Zoom. And because I'm the host of that and the host of this, I can't do it. So I'm going to make you host of this, Allie, and you can hang cool. out here and I'll go start that other one. Sounds great. All right. All right, you are the host, so I will jump off and go start the other meeting.
All right, excellent. Okay, I think everything's ready to go for the closing ceremonies, including the results I might have given away on accident. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Wait, that decided that doesn't matter while you weren't here, so don't worry about it. <laughs> What's that? So we decided that didn't matter while you were while you were doing oh, that. Else. Good. Don't worry about it. Good. <laughs> All right, I'm in the other meetings phase. Oh, it's so funny because I'm like, wait, I can hear you. Oh, it's because you're. Oh, I'm not gonna let no, in just... people. Well, should I just let people in regardless, like, or should I just let us in initially here for the next few minutes? Uh, maybe have people in the waiting room until yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll keep let's do that, on. and then just message. Oh. This is this is what happened with nationals too. We always the closing ceremonies is our weak point. <laughs> you know, we're just like uh, whatever. We're so worried about getting everything perfect for the competition that then yeah, the ceremony this is the least important weird, part, right? Weird yeah. afterthought. You know next you year would. we put a we put a volunteer in charge of closing ceremonies. It'll mm -hmm. probably be way better. Um. Or Tammy, are either of you going to jump on this other Zoom? Or I suppose because Tammy's streaming, she has to coordinate that somehow. But we've got five minutes left, so yeah, it's okay. Oh my god, thanks guys for letting me get food. I needed that. Yeah, I had like a protein drink. It's actually slim fast, but it was perfect because I'm like, I just need something in my stomach. It's a good weight loss plan. Um just live streaming all day. So that seriously. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and like confirm Kyle's time. Okay. okay. Oh, I, look, I never looked at my sheets, you guys. I wrote it down. Let me look. Oh yeah, go ahead. I've Can got the times much? in the um, itinerary ready to go, so. Here's where's my individual. And um, just a heads up that when we do the prizes, what I can do is pull up the slides that show the prizes uh, for each division, and that way we will know exactly which prizes, who's getting what. I need one ten thirteen for Kyle. <gasps> Nicole Kennedy, did she just finish? Two eleven ten. But she can't find her last piece, so I'm going to let her know that at 2.11.20, she's done. Nicole Kennedy, 2.11.20. Great work. Way to keep going on that. We know you've got a missing piece somewhere, so the 20 is with that extra 10 minute or 10 second penalty. Was it Nicole you said that was 2.11.20? Oh, you don't have a missing piece? No missing piece for Nicole, so 2.11.10 then. Nice work, Nicole Kennedy, two eleven ten. <laughs> All right, I'll put it in there in a minute. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me. I'm gonna unhighlight Kyle then. It's all good. Yeah, he's all good. Uh, but no, that time is. The clock time, so we need to add 27 seconds, so it's really... No, that uh, was in the pairs that the clock was messed up. It wasn't messed up oh, in individual. Yeah, you're right, you're right. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Individual one and two pairs were, weren't a problem. You're all good. Yeah, pairs was the one with the messed up clock. Yeah, that was so messed up. Okay. But at least the times are all good. Uh, yeah, I think those and are... And I wrote, I wrote that one down after... We, I think we had one ten fourteen, and then we're like, nope, nope, one ten thirteen. So I know that was that's correct. And who just finished this one at two eleven? Nicole, what did you say, Tammy? Two eleven. Nicole, oh, two eleven ten. Yeah, that's what she we found her. another piece though, and got it in at the lat end at two eleven twenty five. I think was the deal. Yeah, we told her two eleven ten. So maybe we just okay. Um, um, 
Emily, you'll need to make time or a co-host because I'm no longer in that Zoom, so I can't do it. Oh, I can't. I'll have to do it. I see. Make co-host. Yeah. Oh, should I go to the other Zoom? Sorry. I, I'm in okay. there, but I'm the only one, so somebody else can come on over. It is 6.59, so we'll probably be switching yeah, over I'm soon. I'm going to come over. Yeah, I'm going to come over, too. I'm going to let these people know, yeah, that yeah. we're going to head out. Okay. Okay, but make sure that, oh, Tammy, yeah, she'll just jump off whenever she's. All okay. right, everyone, that is time for us. We're going to hop on over. But everybody in, there's really no reason leaving in the waiting room, right? I can just tell them us your time. we're going to start in a few minutes. Um, and an email. So thank you so much, everyone. Uh, great work. And um, we look forward to see you again next time or maybe for Puzzle Club tomorrow. Mm. Hello. I was going to, but now I'm like, well, we should wait for Tammy and stuff, maybe. Okay, coming over now. No, there's a bunch in the waiting room. I'm going to make you co-host, then you'll be able to see. Because I was like, what the heck? Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> there's Tammy. There's Tammy and Tammy. There's a bunch of people. Here comes Tammy, Tammy, and Allie. Okay, good. <laughs> so. We'll make, I'll make some more cookies and then we'll be good to go. Wait. Make tea. And only goes, yes, please. Oh, there's a bunch of people. We got 15 people waiting to come. So, all right, awesome. <laughs> so, so, we can be unmuted in, in the Zoom, Zoom now because. But you gotta. Oh, mute when Tammy, Tammy gets, gets over here. here. Yeah. Tammy, oh, I, shoot. I, I ended, ended the, the meeting. meeting. I, I hope I didn't mess up her stuff. Her stuff. Oh, the other one? Did you yeah. end to end? Oh, no. Was it not supposed to do that? I don't know. Because if you were host and it ended, but she's on her way in. Tammy, did it mess it up that it ended that meeting? I don't know if she can hear me. Oh, oh sorry, sorry, Tammy. Tammy. Ugh. <laughs> Shoot. Gonna, Darn it. I'm going to mute in the YouTube I said shoot. shoot. Is yeah, I think we can let people in. Yeah. yeah. All right. Holly, you gotta mute somewhere. Yeah, you're echoey. All right. Here they come. Admit it all. Oh, there we go. I'm unmuted and in Zoom. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. All right. Everyone, just so you know, we will be on the live stream for this so for a little while then we're thinking we're just going to make some announcements and then i think we'll leave the live stream and then you guys can chat more freely and not feel weird about just chit chatting with each other while you're on a live stream yeah <laughs> all right sorry <laughs> we're busy we literally just left the other room because there's a few people still puzzling so we wanted to stay with them as long as we could to record their times for them um and you know so we've been on this for a while so we're, you know. we're just trying to get our stuff figured out we have 25 people in this room and i'm only seeing like 12 uh, is that true for you guys too Maybe they have their cameras off. I'll do show non okay. video because that's probably what it is. Yeah, a bunch of people have okay. their cameras off. That would be why. Excellent. <laughs> Yay, there's Kim Kimmy. Yay, welcome everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to. So, Allie, I take it you know what we're announcing, right? <laughs> yeah, I got it. I got you. Um, All right, cool. I guess we can get started. The Zoom is on the live stream. Okay. <laughs> Great. Yep, that is the plan. We're on the live stream. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. Um, by, let's see, by show of hands, who had so much fun today? <laughs> who well, most people have the camera off, today? so you can't tell. <laughs> And we've got some claps. We've got some claps. 
Yeah, and we had some cat butts. <laughs> appropriate. <laughs> who, who loved that uh, high tea high drinks puzzle? <laughs> who didn't love it? <laughs> <laughs> a few Excellent. people still I think Allison she's still working on it so she, it, good job, Allison. Allison. I'm yeah, impressed. Tanya so yeah this is great we got some folks Loving who are still this. Stephanie they're still going so good for them that's great that's so great I love that Tiffany's doing another puzzle um I we think were she's just doing saying, Tiffany, yeah, which this, one is that this is the speed run puzzle on top of high tea high jinks but it's so cool. It's actually really good because I took a break from the speed run for a while because I was not coming anywhere close to your time or Kelly Smith's <laughs> time. Um, but this is actually a perfect way to train for it to like match by shape and then almost like memorize where the shapes are. So I'm going to have to get back into it again after. <laughs> I can't believe a few of you weren't quite sure. I feel I thought for sure you'd be like, so um, for those of you that don't know what we talked about in the live stream, we realized that the speed run puzzle, the cut of the pieces are exactly the same as high T hijinks. So any funky little shaped piece, exactly the same place in the speed run puzzle as it is in the individual puzzle that you just did. But so uh, it's, we, it's also, I practiced on three puzzles and at least one of them, if not two, also yeah that's so crazy yeah I saw another one um so that's too funny but yeah we um we noticed that we practiced that puzzle as a board and I noticed it pretty early on so I was very curious to see which of the speedrunners would also notice that and some that some pieces look similar but I'm surprised none of you were like oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> Kelly I thought for sure <laughs> um, but anyway, so let's go ahead and do the um, kind of official part of this really quick, and then we'll we'll live stream that portion. And then if you want to kind of hang out and talk some more about all of the different things about these puzzles, uh, we'll take that part off of live stream um, and um, can be a little more casual. So yeah, I, I just saw Robin in, in the chat just commenting that it's weird that they're the same cut but different brands. But yeah, I think we've unlocked some secret puzzle insider knowledge that like Cobble Hill and Puzzle Twist are maybe using the same manufacturer. <laughs> yes. Um, oh. <laughs> just, just maybe seems like something maybe that is legit. So that's and now you crazy. guys know it's worth <laughs> practicing the speedrun puzzle because it might help you in future puzzles. <laughs> we didn't think that. That was a complete accident. <laughs> right. Happy accident. Um, can't tell you guys. Uh, okay. So I have teammate one. Sorry, guys. Bear with me. Huh. We said that we always plan things like a lot, except for the closing ceremonies. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we'll go ahead and announce the winners from each division and the prizes that they get. Okay, I don't have the winners on here. I just have the prizes. So that's, it is what it is. Uh, slideshow and live. And everyone's in their slides. Okay. So excellent job today, you guys. The pairs puzzling. Um, great job to everyone that participated. We had 50 pairs participating, so 100 people overall. We did the Robinsberger uh, uh, zebra. Zebra's at the watering hole. And here, I will pull up the, the prizes that we will be giving away for pairs. And I will announce the winners as well. Sorry. Struggling a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, you guys can see the prizes. And all right, so for pairs for first, sorry, for fourth through sixth place, we have puzzles sponsored by our lovely sponsor, Robin's Burger. So uh, the fourth through sixth place pairs will share a Robin's Burger puzzle prize. So starting with sixth place, we had Kelly and Suzanne. And you'd think I'd have the times pulled up, but I don't. I've got uh, the time. Okay. Do you want me? I'm going to call out the times if you yes, just that say would be great. Okay. Kelly, Kelly and Suzanne, their time was? 36.44. 36.44. Excellent. And fifth place was no responsibilities, Jennifer and Katie Lusher. Their time was 35.31. 35.31. And fourth place was Yvonne Foyt and Karen Kavet, and their time was? 33.55. And those three sets of puzzlers will win a Robin's Burger to share, so we will contact you guys about that. And in third place, the prices get mm, a little more exciting. Uh, third place uh, pairs will win $50, a Zacco box top holder trophy, and two Ravensburger puzzles. Um, oh, also shout out to Zacco because he's sponsoring those trophies, which is wonderful. We love him. Uh, so third place uh, was Becca Taylor and Doug Ellinger with a time of 3323. Mm, awesome job. And in second place, get all the same prizes, but $50 more. We have Sarah Schuler and Lauren Coates with a time of 3248. 3248. Awesome. Everybody was so close in there. Yep. Yeah. You guys were stressing us out so much. Thank you. Um, and first but not least, uh, with a $150 prize and a Zacco box top holder trophy and two Robin's Burger puzzles. We had a team that crushed it, you guys. By how many minutes? It, it, it was like eight minutes. It, crazy. Their time. Oh, do you want to say who it was? Jean and Kathy Reuter with the time of 2403. Oh, okay. Wow, you guys. I think, Allie, maybe you can tell them that they did yes. this in Spain. Okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So, Jean and Kathy, just so that you guys know, we looked up, we noticed that this puzzle was done in Spain for a competition. So, we tried to find a puzzle that wasn't, hadn't been distributed that much in the US yet, but this one was used for a competition in Spain. And that competition, the winning puzzlers came in with a time of I believe 31 minutes you guys were 24 minutes so you were close you were closer to 23 minutes you're about eight minutes ahead of them that team we looked up another puzzle that they did which was also used in worlds so Alejandro Clemente Leon the world champion and his partner did that puzzle in just over 20 minutes the, the team that you beat by eight minutes, they beat Alejandro's team by a minute. So the team that beat the world champions team by a minute, you crushed them by eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys killed it. <laughs> yeah. Great work, you guys. We're so proud. <laughs> yeah. So everyone give a round of applause. For all of our placers in the Paris division, you can do audio, you can do some little crappy hands. Great work to all of you guys. That was a tough puzzle. We really enjoyed looking at the zebra shape in the middle of everyone's puzzle as they waited to do that to last. <laughs> all right, so we'll move on from the Paris prize, the Paris winners to individuals one. So. Thank you to Cobble Hill for sponsoring this unpublished puzzle. That was really amazing that we were able to get something that we could confirm no one had done before. 
Um, so what I want to say about this puzzle, so this was wave one. So we're going to talk first about prizes and placements for each competition wave because each wave gets its own sets of prizes. And then we will also talk about the overall winners for individuals. So for wave one at the 1 p.m. time, um, the fourth through sixth place will get a Cobble Hill puzzle. So in sixth place, we have Karen Cavett at one hour, 13 minutes and 37 seconds. In fifth place at one hour, 10 minutes and 13 seconds, we have Kyle Cawson. And just in front of him at 109.50, we have E.B. Karen. So great job to you guys for four through six. And in third place, nine seconds faster than fourth place was Robin DeCare who's going to win $40, a Zacco box up holder trophy and a Cobble Hill puzzle. And just about 30 seconds before her was second place, Becca Taylor at 109.07. It's going to win the same plus, plus another 40 bucks. And in first place was Simi Berman, 107.35. She put some distance between her and second place and she'll be getting the 120 um, plus all the other prizes. Congrats to you guys. Excellent job. Little round of applause for you. <laughs> Yay. We need sound effects. Job. Yeah, I know, <laughs> right? I'm like, up. Shoot, next time. <laughs> so thank you all for being within seconds of each other, second through fifth. That wasn't at all stressful for us. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And we will move on to individuals wave two. So same thing holds true for the prizes, and I will talk about the winners. So we had in sixth place, Kelly Walter at 105.49. Great job to Kelly. A few minutes in front of her at 102.30 was Kathy Reuter. And in fourth place at 102 even, so just 30 seconds before Kathy, was Mindy Whiting in fourth place. Great job to you guys. In third place, we have Kelly Buer at 58 minutes, 56 seconds. In second place, we have Jean Reuter at 58, 49. So just seven seconds in front of Kelly. And I <laughs> would make a comment about which sister came first, but I feel like I'll start a fight. <laughs> Doubt that very much. <laughs> <laughs> Gene and Kathy don't seem like the fighting <laughs> They don't seem like it. <laughs> and in first place, she also crushed it by a good seven and a half minutes. <laughs> we have Sarah Schuler at 51.19. Great job to Sarah. We didn't think, we weren't sure anyone would come in under an hour on this, and you proved us wrong. <laughs> So great wow. job to, to you all. You'll be getting these prizes listed here. And the overall individuals, first through third, uh, will be getting a puzzle easel sponsored by Robinsberger. So like a puzzle board, but I think there's a little more functionality to it. Uh, and actually those winners came out of that second wave. You guys were just, I think you slept in a little later and maybe and uh, got a, <laughs> were the speedier way. <laughs> So overall, third place winner, we have Kelly Buer. All three of these are under an hour. Kelly Buer at 5856. Jean Reuter, once again, 5849, just seven seconds faster. And then Sarah Schuler at 5119 for the overall first place winner. So great job, everyone. Round of applause for you all. <laughs> I wish that we had satisfaction. Yeah. That's so great. You guys can unmute. Woohoo. <laughs> Awesome job, everyone. Yeah. Um, I want to say one more announcement, which is I did announce that there will be the special link for the speedpuzzling.com event that is going to be going out in just a few moments. Um, but great job to everyone. Thank you to our sponsors, Robinsberger, Cobble Hill, and Zacco. Mm -hmm. And with that, I'm going to stop sharing my screen.
And I was going to say, we wanted, we wanted to ahead. clarify too with the, we talked about the speedpuzzling.com link. And then we kind of realized like, we probably shouldn't share that right when a competition is starting, because then people will be like wanting to go on their computer and like mm -hmm, sign mm -hmm. up for that instead of puzzling. So we delayed it a little bit. Yeah. So sorry for any confusion we might've caused there. We just kind of realized, oh, this is not a good time to announce this. Right. Because, um, you know people were about to compete and we didn't want to be uh having to you know put you guys at a disadvantage for not being able to access the link right away and get exactly get that. so i will actually i will go ahead and share that uh right at 7 30 that way if we um the people will have time they won't be listening here so, so yeah sorry for the delays on that but thanks guys yeah. for your patience i think we can Close out the live stream and thank everybody who's on the live stream and watching for joining us uh, for the puzzle competition today. It was super fun. And, but those of you on the Zoom, you're welcome to stay on here. We can do a little more setting uh, just between us. And again, just thanks to everybody. This has been such a fun day. It's been so great to watch everyone and it's just been great. We love it.